All right, chat. This is potentially the last part of Ace Attorney, I think, most likely. I'm not telling that in stone, though, because every time I do, something goes wrong, and it becomes not the case. Every time. Every single goddamn time. So, <laughs> I'm done with putting that in the title. <laughs> Until it's, like, painfully obvious to be the case. So, we're halfway through this. We're starting right away. We're starting right away with trial day two. I, I also want to do this because there's a lot of stuff that happened previously that I feel like I need to remember. And if I forget it now, it's going to bite me in the ass later. So, this will hopefully help. Let's go. 3.06 p.m. Defendant's waiting room. Oh, it doesn't look like Mr. Tori is here yet. No, it doesn't. Well, let's do a quick rundown of the situation. We have very little new testimony or evidence to work with. So does anyone remember what's happened so far? Ah, well, yes, that's true, but wouldn't it be wise to try impressing the issue of the contradiction concerning the arrest? Maybe. It would only work if they accepted our argument straight, though. What we need to do for now is see what evidence the prosecution will present and address any discrepancies as they come up. Yes, that does sound better. This will likely say- they will likely say that the arrest was made at the Moria Shrine. However, if we try to insist that it was actually cheated in based on the witness testimony we received, since the witness was Miss Ibuki, someone close to the suspect, that will lack persuasion. I wouldn't really say that Suika is necessarily close to Satori. It's more like a friend of a friend kind of deal. Like, she's friends with Yugi, who is kind of, I guess, friends with Satori slightly, maybe a little bit? I'm not sure. Who knows? I wonder how, how Satori would get along with the Onis, actually, because when you think about it, the Onis are, uh, they're very brash, but they're very honest, so they don't really lie. I'm sure Suika's not telling a lot of shit. They're very honest people, people, creatures, because it's uh, one of their biggest virtues. So I feel like they wouldn't have much to really hide to from Satori, so they could at least get along in that regard. But who knows? Not to mention there's that the fact that there's no corroborating evidence, such as a picture or other witnesses. Oh. That's why trying to point out the prosecution's strange maneuvers will be difficult. We must use discretion and wait for the right time. I see. Then I will focus even harder. Oh, Miss Satori. Thank you for your hard work. We know you're hiding something. Am I? I've told you everything already, which is why I don't want you to prove my innocence, but lessen the severity of the sentence. That is exactly why I think you're covering for something. Believe what you wish, but I have no intention of changing my claims. I understand. I wish you good luck today. Aya. Today we're gonna blow the lid off this whole mess. Yes. No. What's actually gonna happen is I'm gonna present two pieces of evidence and we're gonna go to day three. Because the trial days are just so strangely paced. <laughs> the second day of the trial of Satori Komeiji will now come to order. Have both sides made their preparations. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. So remember that the, the victim is patchy. Her consciousness was stolen by, allegedly, Satori. And the prosecution side has been given to the Celestials and Tenshi. As opposed to the SDM as regular. So that's why Tenshi is here right now. The defense is also prepared, Your Honor. Excellent. As neither side was able to pr prove their respective cases during yesterday's brief proceedings, I hope we will have more substantial deliberation today. The system came back because... Well, to be honest with you, I don't really remember. It's been a while. I, they, they must have just brought it back because of reasons. I don't think there was a very good reason given, honestly. And given, given Toho in general, whenever you need a reason for a fan game, you don't really have to be too uh, convoluted about it. <laughs> Maybe they just wanted to try it again or around two. Either way, it's here. I understand, Your Honor. Oh, Aya didn't want anything to do with this. She, uh... She'd rather write articles if she keeps getting suckered into being a defense attorney. 
Ailaplast, thank you for the five gifted subs, man. Alright. I have nothing to amend to my opening statement, but I would instead like to call yesterday's witness to the stand so she can continue her testimony. If you would. And please approach the stand, witness. Alright, Saki had more testimony to give today, I remember that much. Thank you for coming back. Can I ask you to continue your testimony? Yes, I shall. Please listen well. Here we go. It was early afternoon on that day. I saw Mr. Tori before the incident. And as I stated yesterday, I signed, I sighted her en route to the Moria Shrine later that afternoon. So the only place where she was seen were the Scarlet Devil Mansion and near the Moria Shrine. That's it? Is that all? Yes, Your Honor. There is one thing I would like to confirm. Miss Heen and I, were you contacted regard the, regarding the sighting of the suspect at the Moria Shrine? Yes, we received word from the Shrine Maiden there, Miss Sanai Kochia. I see, thank you. Now, your cross-examination defense. Yes, Your Honor. Alright, chat. Let's present one piece of evidence and go to day three. <laughs> I don't mean to rip into it, but it's just the fact that I went through almost an hour of the uh, the investigation day, had one cross examination on the court day, and went to day two is beyond baffling. It was early afternoon on that day, and you're certain it was in the afternoon. Yes, absolutely. All right, so it was the afternoon. A little repetitive, aren't we? I'm confirming a very important detail. That was the extent of the line of questioning, so I'd like to continue. Fine. I saw Mr. Tori before the incident. Around what time was this? I cannot indicate a specific time, but it was just afternoon. That was before you found Miss Knowledge unconscious. Yes. As I stated yesterday, I saw I sighted her en route to the Moria Shrine later that afternoon. En route? as she was heading in that direction. Ah, I see. What do you mean, that direction? At what? Where is the mountain in Gensokyo? And how can you just assume that if somebody's walking in that direction, it's just, oh, they're obviously going to the shrine. Isn't the underground also connected there? What if she was just heading home? I don't know how to get to the, the damn underground. The only way I know how to do that is through the geyser center. You tell me there are other ways to get down there? Some kind of secret elevator that only they know about? Like, what is this? What is this assumption that's going on here? Ah, I see. So the only places where she was seen were the Scarlet Little Mansion near the Moria Shrine, or she was going home? Huh? I can't prove this though. Ever heard of the Dark Blowhole? I imagine Miss Satori was flying, correct? Yes, yeah, she was. Okay, maybe. Maybe if she was flying towards the shrine, it would make more sense. Maybe. Just, just a bit. Okay, sure. <laughs> Fine. Yes, she was. As for you, I was on foot. <sighs> that must have been a considerable distance, yes? Quite. I heard that the defendant had closed her third eye and become able to manipulate the subconscious. However, she was prone to being controlled by her own subconscious as a result, wandering wherever it may lead her. There isn't really a consistent map against Sokyo, no. There's a... There are a few areas that, like, kind of exist. Like, we know that the Scarlet Devil Mansion is in close proximity to the Misty Lake. We know that the Genbu Ravine comes off the Yokai Mountain and ends at the Misty Lake, so they're connected. We know that Korindo is stationed outside the forest of magic nearby um i think the i don't know how close the human village is to the bamboo forest though i feel like it's decently close considering how it works in 208 but there's only one human village so you have to wonder what the proximity between the bamboo forest and the hakode shrine and the human village is because they couldn't be that far away right i know obviously the way the, the, the path that the pathway to the Hakode Shrine isn't exactly secure and super safe or whatever and not like that So the human village doesn't immediately get to go there It's always kind of been an issue too with the human village and the Moria Shrine being on top of the Yokai Mountain until they built that 
giant, uh, I don't remember what it's called. Lift? Elevator? I don't fucking know. What's it called? Chat, what's it called? The, the thing, they, they built a, they built a big, uh, a big cart. Cable car. Cable car, that's the one. They built a giant cable car that leads directly to the, from the Moria Shrine to the human village. And that's, uh, that's how they gotten around the Tengu being real pushy about people being on the mountain. And they built that, uh, like, near the later chapters of Wildhorn Hermit. So that exists now, which gave the Moria Shrine a lot of business. Which also means that the, the events of this game that caused them to lose faith no longer apply, because they're pretty good. Does it have any relation to your testimony? Yes, it does. When I found her, her flight movement was unsteady. This is what she was riding the wind. But other than that, yeah, we don't really have a gen an idea. People make their own maps. I like the map that the... I like the map that the puppet dance performance does. It seems pretty, pretty good. Oh, I also forgot to mention that the Prison River Sisters' house, the abandoned... The abandoned mansion is also located next to the Misty Lake. However, I don't really know how you're supposed to know about that. I found that out by accident. There's two buildings in close proximity to the Misty Lake. One of them is that, and the other one is the SDM. Although it seems at one point the SDM was located on an island in the middle of the Misty Lake, but now it's off the shoreline of the Misty Lake, and I don't really know what's going on there at all. Like, at all at all. Is it is it an island, or is it not? Or did it stop being an island? Or did it start being an island? Like, ugh. Whatever. It was if she was riding the wind. I see. So your basis was because she was flying unsteadily. Correct. Is there anything else? Your Honor, the defense is trying to draw out the cross-examination and fatigue the witness in order to obtain a favorable testimony. What should I do? Important questions need a gradual approach. Back down and see what happens. Well, I don't have any other information, so I need this. I need this. This is a very important line of questioning. We need a step-by-step -step approach in order to gain a full comprehension of the situation. You gotta get off me right, right now. What's so sophistry? What? Order in the court. Ms. Shimamaru, can you explain why this is so important? Evidence would be the easiest way to convince us. Oh, fuck off. I don't remember my evidence. This is important. I can explain, not explain. I can't explain! No! <laughs> no, I don't know my evidence. What the fuck is my evidence? Uh, let's see. So, Patchouli, the victim, stayed unconscious. He had not a moral peril in the examination by Eden. Documented by Tenchi. Signed by Tenchi. Story was arrested at Chidian. Tenchi was nowhere to be seen. Confirmed by Momiji. So this is probably right here, Suika's statement, but at the same time, they already said that if I just present that, it won't be too good because it comes from uh, acquaintance of the, the accused. Hmm. States that are conscious were stolen. Story not being spotted within the Scarlet Double Mansion was simple luck. Story was arrested in the evening at the Moria Shrine. and I notified the detectives. Tenchi was present at the time. And she did not come to the Scarlet Little Mansion to oversee the investigation of the crime scene. Uh, something. What the fuck is this? And then a notebook. I have a feeling Suika's statement will work here, so let's try it out. Let's submit your evidence. Because uh, we're talking about where she's been. Oh, that's Cox. Uh-oh. Here it is. Where is it? How is it? No, please look. It's right here. We are. Sorry, but I do not follow you. No good? Not in the least. Ugh, this is tough. Did Missy Zayoi hear about us from Miss Scarlet? Even if she told her to cooperate, it's a little hard to do in this situation. We're in a bit of trouble, huh? Oh no! I don't know what to do! <laughs> so, last time I tried to present evidence, they were like, you gotta do it now. This time it's, it, it let me through. The only places where she was seen were the Scarlet Devil Mansion and the Moria Shrine, but that's... But that's not true, because I just presented evidence stating that Suika Soller was arrested at Chididen, right? I mean... The only places where she was seen... But then... But then Satori says she wasn't spotted. Oh god. Sanai was a... okay. And she did not come to the Scarlet Devil to see the investigation of the crime scene. Whatever the hell this thing is. I don't know. I actually don't know. 
I guess let's try a... Hold on, let's go through this one more time. This is tough. Yeah, okay, so... That's not gonna work. We're in a bit of trouble. I think it has something to do with what I did there, but... Shaker statement wasn't correct, so... What else could it be? I imagine Mr. Tori was flying. Yes, she was. As for you, I was on foot. Must have been a considerable distance. Quite. I heard the defendant had closed her third eye, becoming so conscious. She's prone to being controlled by her own subconscious, wherever it may lead her. Is there any relation to your testimony? Yes, it does. When I found her, her flight movement was unsteady. It was as if she was riding the wind. See, so your basis was because she was flying unsteadily. Correct. Is there anything else? So she was subconscious at the time. Okay, let's try this. Hold on, back down and see what happens. I understand I will recede for now. Is that alright? Yes, Your Honor, I will continue my cross-examination. No, that's not right. Okay, let's try... Before I try and present evidence again, I'd like to see if I can get another... Anything else. That usually isn't the case, but I, I don't actually... I don't actually know here. I'm not sure what to, how to counter this claim. She was acting subconsciously because her flight was unsteady. How do I... How do I... How do I... How do I question that? The only thing I had that made sense to me was her existing in a third place, not mentioned by, uh, by Sakuya, but that doesn't work, so now I don't know. Yep. This is important. What sophistry. Can you explain why this is important? Evidence would be the easiest way to convince us. This is important. I can not explain. Let's not explain. Not explain, your honor. So it's just like I said. No, I never said you were right. It's just that this step, I can't explain it. What unsightly excuses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Objections sustained. The defense will keep their questions as succinct as possible. Understood, your honor. All right, so it looks like I do need to present something there, but I'm not sure what it is. What do I have that beats this claim? This is why you play these things relatively soon after. Imagine how much worse it would have been if I had waited a week to do this. Well, I would have remembered nothing. Absolutely nothing of importance. And then I just had to review all my evidence. At least there wasn't 17 case files again. Where like half of them got used. I can explain. I can explain. Submit your evidence. Oh my god. Alright, so it's not Suika's statement. Story was arrested. Cheer. So nothing to do with that. Uh, no, it wouldn't be that. Story not being spotted when this car double match was simple luck. Snai was arrested in the evening at the Moria Triumph. Snai notified detectives. Tenshi was present at the time. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I missed that detail. I get it. Evening. She made it a point to say noon. But she was arrested in the evening. I see. So there's a time lapse here that's not being explained. This is Miss Kochia's testimony. Uh, she was the one who notified you about the suspect, correct? Of course, if you have a problem with this, you could summon her as a witness. Well prepared, I see. But I agree in situations like such as these, it's only proper to confirm things in turn. The court accepts the defense's claim. However, I would appreciate it if they would be as concise as possible. Yes, I understand, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Ah. And if I may continue... According to this testimony, the suspect was arrested at the Moria Shrine soon after. But the arrest wasn't made until the evening. Did the defendant just wander about willy-nilly for a few hours? Oh! I'm not questioning the veric veracity of your testimony. Veracity? Veracity? Uh, God, more words. I'm not googling. You certainly saw the defendant in the afternoon. And then the arrest was made at night, when Miss Kochia invited Miss Satori into the shrine. It shouldn't have taken too long for her to notify the detectives afterwards. This means there's a blank spot of time between Miss Izayoi and Miss Kochia's testimonies. Ah! Gah! So, can you explain how this discrepancy came to be? What? 
is how you thought I'd react, right? Huh? You thought I wouldn't notice that too? Hmm. Here's a statement. I hate when chat, don't you hate when it takes like five to 10 minutes for you to figure something out and you present it and then the prosecutor is like, well, yeah, what kind of dumbass didn't figure that one out? It's like, oof. <laughs> I'm being attacked outside the game here. Here's a statement from the defendant. Huh? In order, in our investigation from earlier, we were able to obtain the details of her actions and her confession. She included how she subconsciously headed towards the Moria Shrine. Once there, unable to locate Miss Moria or Miss Yasuka, she again fell into subconsciousness. They always do that. Here comes that updated autopsy report. Meaning, there's no time unaccounted for. The suspect was merely lying in wait for her next victims. What? Order in the court. Order. Order, I say. That's a cool bug fact. Getting chewed out by the prosecutor when you, you figure something out in a Phoenix Wright game and the prosecutor's like, oh, I already knew this, dumbass. I was waiting for you to expose it, though. It's like, ooh. I really tried. I tried to put it on my big brain. Whew, things finally calmed down. Has the defense recovered from their shock? Yes, somewhat. Now then. With the sudden details of this attempted assault coming to light, what will the what will the defense do now? She's taunting me, right? The defense claims that the defendant regrets her actions. She is still not guilty. She's not guilty. Aya! What? You're a stubborn one. Objection. It's. Yeah, I knew it would be her. Ms. Shimamaru, I thought I made myself clear. I have confessed. All I wanted for you was to lessen my sentence. Yes, I understand. So why do you continue to resist? Because I don't believe even in the slightest that you're guilty. What? Why? I don't understand. Miss Satori, if this, if this continues any longer, let us continue, Your Honor. Wait, don't. Any more will be silence. Huh? You were speaking in a turn, and I'll have no more of it. I order the defendant to leave the courtroom. She is to remain in the waiting room. Cool bug fact. I absolutely hate bugs. That's not very cool at all. You can't. Bailiff Komachi Onozuka, please escort the defendant out. Bailiff Onozuka. Bye. Bailiff Onozuka. Komachi. She's not coming, is she? If she's loafing around again, I'll... Um, if I may, I'll escort her. If I may impose, then please. Oh, Komachi's gonna pay cut for this one. Okay, let's go, Mr. Satori. Ah, oh. She sure looked totally defeated just now. <clears throat> with that disturbance removed, let us continue with the proceedings. Okomachi's just slacking off because she's never needed to appear once so far in this game and she figured she wouldn't be needed now. I have returned, Your Honor. Sorry to trouble you. Not at all. Now, Ms. Shimamaru. Why do you insist upon the defendant's innocence despite her own confession? I am a defense attorney. All I do is continue to believe in the innocence of my client and defend them until the end. Hmm, understandable, I suppose. Heh. <laughs> if looks could kill, we'd be in real trouble. And Miss Hina and I? Yes, Your Honor? About the further offense of which you spoke earlier in the trial... Yes, and it's not something that should be taken lightly. Did she or did she not carry it out? She did not, but only because she didn't encounter her targets. I see. As such, there will not change this will not change the current bearing of the case regarding the assault of patchouli knowledge. Understood, Your Honor. I will change my approach. See to it that you do. Witness, do you have any further testimony? I do not, Your Honor. Then you are dismissed. I appreciate your assistance over not just one, but two days. 
and I shall take my leave. However, as new questions have arisen from the test from her testimony, I feel that the suspect's criminal actions have not yet been proven. Exactly, Your Honor. That's why I have a second witness prepared. <gasps> then call the witness to the stand. Oh, yep, here she is. Player two has arrived. This is going to be another tough nut to crack. What do you mean, Aya? So much for my carefully laid plans. We're gonna have to wing it. Should we really be so haphazard? Don't put it like that. Witness your name and occupation. You know, I, I kind of like that Reimu and Marissa are the main characters, but then Sanai comes out, and now Sanai is player two. Somehow higher up on the uh, the scale than, than Marissa. I don't even know how that came to be. <laughs> I mean, she's not the main character, but since she's a parallel to Reimu, blue outfit, different shrine, makes sense to call her player two. Because you know the colors of... The player colors, red, blue, yellow, and green. I always like player three's color. Who's player four? That's probably Sakuya. I don't know. I don't know. Who's who's the most important main character between aside from those three? Probably not Sakuya. Not Yomu, not Raisin. Maybe Aya, because Aya is kind of a main character, basically. She's got her own spin-off games and shit. And I'm playing one right now. <laughs> it's a fan game, but you know. Sanai so Kochi, I serve as the Shrine Maiden at the Moria Shrine. Sumireko, get that shit out of my sight. Get it out of here! What will you testify about? When I saw Miss Atori up until her arrest... Then please begin, by all means. I understand, Your Honor. Tori's arrest. Saw Miss Atori somewhat late in the afternoon. She was standing by the gate. When evening fell, I led her inside as it was starting to grow cold. I decided to contact the detectives just to be sure, but then I found out she was a suspect. They came and arrested her soon after. That ends my testimony. It appears to support Mrs. Ioi's support a statement. You know what I notice is when they're just stating facts and they're not actually like on trial for anything really, their, their testimonies are short. But when they're full of shit, they have so much junk text you have to sift through. I see, and it should be solid enough, Ms. Shimamadu. Will, or rather, can you cross-examine the witness? I will and I can, Your Honor. Watcha! I saw Mr. Tori somewhere late in the afternoon. She was standing by the gate. Alright, now we play the game called Press Everything. You are certain about that. As can be. I always have tea at 3 p.m. and I remember seeing her just before then. That doesn't seem too far off from the time Mrs. Zoyoi mentioned. I believe so. When I first saw her, she was simply staring off into space. I see. When evening fell, I let her inside as it was starting to grow cold. So she just stood there the whole time. I cannot say for sure. I had to clean and perform other duties. Was she ever not there when you checked? When you put it that way, yes. I believe she was somewhere else one time I looked. Where was it? Was it still fairly close to the gate? No, it was near the building in the front. Is there usually someone inside it? Well, there are not living quarters, but ladies Suako and Kanako are occasionally inside. They were not there yesterday, though. Where were they, then? I do not know. They only mentioned they would be out. I see. You don't think it's a big deal when the two gods of your shrine are like, Hey, Sanai, we're going out for a bit. I'm not going to tell you where, but we'll be back when we're back. That doesn't strike anyone as slightly suspicious. Then again, they probably do this shit all the time, so what am I saying? I decided to contact the detectives just to be sure, but then I found out she was a suspect. You had no idea of her charges. Not in the least. To say nothing of her intent towards Lady Suiko and Kaneko. What nerve. When did you learn of that? Just now when Miss Hina and I mentioned it. I see. A little tangent of hers was totally unnecessary. Yes, Tenchi is saying arrow. 
Oh, she, her stare. She stare. Started. Did you did it? She's starting to tick me off. They came and arrested her soon after. Did they? Were you watching when they did? Yes, I was. What did Messina and I do then? She took Miss Satori's hands, held them together, and then tied a rope around her wrists. Hmm, and you were there. Yes, I was. Did we not speak of this when we talked earlier? Yes, but it's very important that you testify about it here in court as evidence. Sorry to trouble you. No, it's quite alright. Ugh, I just want to forget everything, go home and take a nap. <laughs> Please don't give up that easily. This is such a pain. Maybe if you try a little harder, I'll find a hole to break her testimony open. Hang in there. I'm not making much progress, so maybe I better present some evidence. Of course, timing is everything. Oh, no! Evidence! Okay, hold on. I saw Miss Toria standing somewhere in the late afternoon. She was standing by the gate. When evening fell, I led her inside as it started to grow cold. I decided to contact the detective just to be sure, but then I found out she was a suspect. They came and arrested her soon after. So, okay, let's review the evidence. So, that doesn't help. I think so you can statement is going to come into play here, but I'm not sure which one to present it on. Let me just go. So that doesn't have anything to do with this. So now I was uh, uh, yeah, so this is Sanai's statement, so I can't contradict her own statement. That wouldn't make any sense, and we just used that one earlier. And she did not come, so that doesn't matter. So it's definitely Suika's statement, but I need to find the right part to present it on. I think it's this one. There's that brain. Hey, there's that big brain. Your Honor, I have a big brain. I must show it off. What is it? Facts and logic, baby. I hereby submit. I am hereby submitting this testimonial summary as evidence. What is this? It's an eyewitness testimony from Miss Suika Ibuki. Hmm. According to this, she saw Miss Satori being arrested and cheated in. Huh? W what is the meaning of this defense? It should have. All it should have all the details. But, for some reason, the very same suspect was arrested for the same crime in two places. That's a clearly, that is clearly abnormal. What? What did you... So how about it, Miss Heen and I? Could you give us an explanation regarding this strange phenomenon? Oh. Yes, you are quite obligated to provide one. Out with it. Ugh. Your Honor, this will not do. What will not do? I mean, this deception will not do. Deception? How can you say that? But that's what it is! It is true that the Celestials went to Chirion and made an arrest. Uh... Uh-huh? What? Here is the sequence of events. Oh, shit. First, the suspect was cited and arrested at Moria Shrine. That is what you have claimed so far. Yes, and that will not change. That is because the Celestials took the suspect with them to Chiriden. What? What? What did you say? What? Why? <laughs> Why would you do something like that? Simple. For a domiciliary visit. In other words, a house vis a house search. I've never heard that word before. Domiciliary? Domiciliary? What the fuck? Well, you don't need to bring the cr you don't need to bring her down there. What? You got her in cuffs. She doesn't need to be present while you search her house. I think. A d d domiciliary visit. An indispensable part of any investigation. Otherwise, you might not know if they're hiding any other incriminating evidence. Am I wrong? That sounds acceptable to me. No, it doesn't. Judge! We arrested the criminal, brought her da back to her house, and then searched the premises with her there. Huh? Why? B but if it was so important, why didn't you go yourself? I was occupied. I'm serving as inspector and prosecutor, you know. And why would you bring the- What? Oh no, I- Is there no way out of this? 
That was an exceedingly simple explanation. That doesn't make any fucking sense, but sure. <laughs> this was an, uh, they seemed nothing unnatural about it. But of course, the prosecution must be pure and honest. Oh, get off me. How dare you? You stole my line. I, per I saved your ass in court and you stole my line. It seems the defense has raised no objections thus far. Do you have anything else to say in response? I'm gonna go back in time and not take your case, Ten. She has that sound. Uh. <sighs> Aya? No. Oh. This is it. We're done for. Aya, please try to turn your viewpoint. What, Momiji? If you change how you see the situation, you might find a new hint. Change my. POV! Now that I think about it. There was one more thing, wasn't there? How about it, defense? If you have any further objections, I will hand down my verdict. Aha! That could be it! Please wait, your honor! Oh? Any further struggling is useless. There's still one more point that I can't help but be concerned about. And what would that be? It's regarding... the conditions of the arrest, the motive of the crime, the eyewitness testimonies. Okay, but the... Okay, no, hold on. So, the eyewitness testimonies are fine, I guess. The con it's probably the conditions of the arrest. And what about that has you so concerned? Nothing in particular, I guess. All I'm concerned about is your logic. You will be penalized. What? That wasn't it? The contradictions... The no, so it's not the conditions of the arrest. So what am I concerned about? The eyewitness testimonies? Or the motive of the crime? We just, well, I don't know. Because I have an explanation for both of them. That's why I clicked the first one. The motive of the crime is revenge. Okay, that's obviously, that the, the, maybe that's not the case, but that's what we're believing here. But the eyewitness testimonies are fine, because if I had concern with those, then my own evidence would fall flat. So it's got to be this. And what about is so concerned? Nothing in particular. Bro, I hate it. I hate it here. I want to go home, take a nap. It is the eyewitness testimonies, but why? I'm concerned about the eyewitness testimonies, but I just presented that as evidence. Huh? What? What? The fact that even they- the fact they even exist in the first place is strange. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Aya's got some big brain stuff going on. Yeah, my brain took a walk, okay? <laughs> Get off me. I have no idea what you mean. Hold on, she's gonna explain it to us. Miss Satori has a younger sister, Miss Koishi, yes? Of course, everyone is well aware of that. And she closed her third eye long before Miss Satori ever did, and acts according to her subconscious. Ah! Hmm? And while she is acting on her subconscious... That's it! No one ever notices her presence! Exactly. Oh my god! Oh! I see now. The fact that both Miss Izayaoi and I were able to witness something, someone acting very strange, much like Miss Koishi, is odd? Correct. The entire trial will need to be redone based on this major premise. Don't the court agree? Yes, it would seem to be the case. I'm confused. Well, I disagree! We clearly have witnesses and an arrest was made. Why do you have to rethink any anything? Because we both have our own cases we need to prove. The prosecution has to show why it was natural the suspect was seen, while the defense has to show why it was unnatural. Both sides need to make new cases. Blah. At the very least, I feel I have ex I feel I have explained why it is strange that there were witnesses to Misatori acting as subconscious. This makes perfect sense, chat. It actually makes sense. But I mentioned before that that whole thing didn't really take off to the fighting games. But I guess that was still that was still a relevant point of information even before then, which is not something I I knew, I guess. I guess it makes sense, but as I said, it didn't really come into much play until 13.5. 13.5 doesn't exist yet, as far as this game's concerned. So we're acknowledging that one who acts subconsciously is hard, it's hard to witness their presence unless you're really aware or trying to see them. So it's strange how many people were able to see her in a state of subconscious. But I didn't think of it like that because I had assumed that 
we weren't going off that line of thought at all. But it seems that I was incorrect. My... My, uh... My knowledge of the series backfired because I had incorrect information. Whoops. Oh well. Always, uh, always good to humble yourself. If you're going to make a counter-argument, then please present a reason and an example. Key. Excuse me for the trouble, Your Honor. As you have explained the situation, I see why this development cannot be helped. Miss Heen and I? Yes, Your Honor. Can you currently disprove the defense's theory? No, I can't. Mm-hmm, as I thought. And Ms. Shimimaru? Yes, Your Honor. Is there any telling evidence proving the defendant's innocence? It's in Koishi's essay text file, I think. Okay. That is one... That is an area of character lore that I have never delved into. Is like the in-game files on the different characters that explain things. Because there's actual lore in them, and I really should look into them someday. But if it's explained in there, then I, it's not surprising I missed it. I also have never actually gone and done the EX stage myself because I've never beaten that game on one. Continue, because uh, subterranean is kind of difficult. It's very hard. <laughs> and so I've never gotten that far. But that makes sense. So my, uh, yeah, my knowledge is a bit lacking there. But I learned something new. So it's a, it's a benefit. Is there any telling evidence proving the defendant's innocence? No, we have nothing that conclusively proves our case either. Then it seems this is as far as we can go for today. Tomorrow will be the last day of the trial, so I want both sides to make preparations to the finest details, for I must give a verdict then. Are there any objections? None, Your Honor. We understand completely, Your Honor. With that, today's court is adjourned. 7.16 p.m. The only Toho game you can beat on easy mode, as far as I know, is Toho 8, which is kind of strange. Toho 6 doesn't even let you go to stage 6 if you're on easy mode, but Toho 8 does let you get a good ending. If you, uh, It probably has to do with the, the fact that you have to beat the game, like, ba you basically have to beat the game twice in order to get the true ending, so they were just so much just like, yeah, you can do it on easy mode if you want. And 7. Really? I thought I thought 7 didn't let you beat easy mode for the good ending. Or are we just talking... Are, are, is the good ending separate from the extra stage in that sense? You can get extra on easy all from 8 onwards. But you don't get the good ending, do you? Herb Cherry Blossom lets you unlock the extra on easy. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. I thought it was only uh, Toe 8. It's funny, though, how punishing it was back then, though, huh? If you play on easy mode, you don't even get through the last stage. You get the ending. The good end? So you're telling me I could have played on easy mode this whole time, and I would have been able to beat the game? It only would have cost me the ridicule of my entire chat? <laughs> easy mode, though. Ah, yeah, yeah. It's already dark outside. But we managed to extend the trial for another day. Did Koichi's name ever come up? Yes, I had to use her as an example. Where's Koishi now? We only got a glance of her yesterday, but we have no idea where she wandered off to. I see. Even though she was conscious, it seemed like her mind was elsewhere. I'll say. Looks like Miss Hoshiguma was right. Miss Koishi has some kind of relation to this trial. And tomorrow's the last day, even though there's still so much we don't know. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. If we do about that right now, if we don't know, we don't know. Will we be okay tomorrow? Okay or not, all we can do is try, no matter how discouraging it gets. Okay. <laughs> Play on easy if the game gives you a subterranean aneurysm. <laughs> that game is hard. You can't do SA extra on a 1cc easy, I've done that on related note. The difference in difficulty between easy and normal is absurd. Is it? Well, it is a hard game. <laughs> Subterranean animism is designed to make you hate things. Because all the yokai down there are supposed to be hated. That's where Zen's design philosophy came for all the, all the different creatures. Or characters you see. They're creatures that you would dislike. 
Mm. And as a result, their patterns are their patterns are evil. But Subterranean has some of my favorite music in the entire series. So even though it's balls to the wall hard comparatively to the others, it's a it's a fine game. I do think that it needs a little less on the life piece thing. That's one well, my one complaint about that game. I'd say is that you shouldn't need five life pieces. You should need three. But that was also the first time he tried that. It just you know it just feels like five life pieces in that game is a hell of a lot to ask for considering how difficult it is to get your hands on them in the first place good morning i mean the farthest i got in normal mode was the first spell card of utso and then i touched the big ball and died and i was like fuck Satori stage gives me trouble. Satori gives me trouble. Yugi usually fucks me up because I hate lasers. And then when I get to Orin, everything falls apart. Absolutely everything falls apart at Orin because I don't know how to fight her properly. And I turn I turn the battlefield into a fucking mess of fairy corpses, and it's just not easy. <laughs> I've never actually beaten her last spell card. I've only ever timed it out because I do not know how to wrangle the fairies in a way to keep them in check and also damage Orin. So I just can't do it. I've timed that one out when I beat it every time. Are you still asleep? No. Are you please wake up? Uh, pipe down. We're not gonna have enough time. Today's trial is starting early, remember? Gah! Ugh, thank goodness. Are you awake, Aya? Yeah, I guess. Oh, and my favorite attack Yugi does is when she steps on the ground and the entire, like, area turns to bullets except where you are and you have to know ahead of time to like stand directly in front of her otherwise you just fucking die that's my favorite one and the one where she throws a bunch of giant ring bullets from diagonal and they're all random massacre at mount Ooh, i hate that one that one scares the shit out of me <laughs> yeah i guess you're rarely this hard to wake up not even that early i ended up laying awake most of the night thinking about things like what Oh, considering the potential reasons behind the case, seeing if they would, that would give me even the slightest hint of a lead. And did you come up with anything? To be honest, no. I see. After going over what's happened so far, I think the pieces are slowly falling into peace. Yugi's strength is in that she can literally just step on the ground and create a wave of bullets. If she actually gave... If she actually tried, like with her full strength, she'd probably crush everything. But she can't do that because she's only a stage 3 boss lol. <laughs> All the super strong characters either don't get to be in an actual game or they're they're fucking around. What do you mean? Well, just think about yesterday's trial. Specifically the point I brought up at the very end. You mean about the subconscious actions? Yes, Messina and I was awfully quick to back down when I mentioned it. Now that I think about it, I agree. We may just have stumbled upon the key to shutting down her case, but if we're not careful, we'll be the one with egg on our faces. Hmm. So that means Hussein and I may have intentionally withdrawn to make full preparations for that argument today. Looks like you got it. I think it's entirely likely she'll try to use the evidence and testimony to fabricate support. So she'll be lying. She wouldn't go that far. It'll be more along the lines of not telling the whole story. But isn't that still kind of underhanded? What are you talking about? I do things like that all the time. <laughs> it's not like I do it because of misunderstandings, though. It's just that saying every last detail is a pain sometimes. Oh, is that how it is? Yes, that's how it is. Not a great thing to admit, Aya. Ulterior motive. Have you noticed any other important points? Not at all. If we don't know the motive, it won't do any good to expose the wrongdoing. Why not give it a try anyway? That won't work either. How disappointing. Since we proved that no one would have noticed Miss Satori if she were being controlled by her subconscious, they could use that to explain how she snuck into the Charlotte Devil Mansion. Alright, that does open up the possibility. It was a gamble I, for I was forced to take. No matter what she did, she wouldn't be spotted. Huh? What is it, Aya? Even though she shouldn't have been seen, she was anyway. Why? Are you talking about Miss Izayoi and Miss Kochia's testimonies? That's right. There's so few witnesses and so little evidence that not even the prosecution can seem to get a leg up in this case. But let's try thinking of everything from the opposite angle. What do you mean? 
First, take what I just said about the prosecution. Maybe it's not that they just can't get a leg, they can't get a leg up, they just don't want to. But that doesn't make any sense. Wouldn't they want to prove their argument and convict the suspect as soon as possible? Normally, but in this case, there are reasons why they wouldn't want to make a serious attempt. What would the reasons be? The exact same reasons why we're so stressed. Lack of evidence and lack of testimony. There's so little that they can set up on set up their case. There's so little that they can't set up their case, so they're using what they do have to buy time. Oh, I see. Well, it's just a guess, but it seems plausible. Even if my hunch is off, it doesn't change the current conditions. So is there anything else we can look at from the opposite angle? Yes, like the witnesses the witness statements about Mr. Tori. You mentioned that earlier, right? She shouldn't have been noticed, but I think she purposefully allowed herself to be. What? Why? To be fingered as the criminal. I'm sorry, but I'm not following you at all. Miss Satori, for whatever reason, wants to be accused of this crime. It doesn't seem like a setup or anything. She willingly wants to take the blame. Is there any reason for that? I'm sure you could easily think of a few. Ah, maybe she's covering for someone else. Or perhaps she was coerced into it. There you go. In fact, I would go as far as to say as both theories are accurate. So that means Miss Satori isn't the culprit. With the scarcity of evidence, that should be plain to see. The whole situation was contrived in order for her to take the blame in place of another. This goes a lot deeper than we expected, but right now everything's starting to fall apart. And why is that? Probably because of the evidence. There's just so frightfully little, little of it. I'm sure that even one or two more clues would be enough to unravel this mystery. It certainly seems like it. All we can do right now is try to piece together what we have. Today's success all hinges on what we've been able to uncover, even more than usual. Let's give it our all today, Aya. Hot damn, that was a lot of talk. Talk, 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 talk. Where is everybody? I imagine this place would be a madhouse by now. Maybe they're so motivated they're already out investigating. Don't be so heedless with your words. I can't put up with any more of these early morning rackets. Look out at the fabled drowsy eye yokai. Who are you calling a yokai? You're the only ones like that around here, you tengu. That's discrimination. And what isn't about calling a human a yokai? You're pretty fussy today. There was some ruckus that woke me up at the crack of dawn and I couldn't get back to sleep. I should have never allowed those freeloaders to take over my shrine. I feel like waking Rainbow up early is just a good way to get yourself exterminated. Or just bonked over the head. But usually when she does that, it also turns into extermination. Oops. Now, now, in any case, today's the final day of the trial, so that was the last groggy morning you had to endure. Thank the gods for that. Inform me. Have you noticed anything unusual about Ms. Hina and I and the Celestials? Why do you keep asking me that? How can you expect me to tell? Even the smallest thing could help. Isn't there anything at all? Hmm? Did you think of something? I guess. I remember hearing the weird rattling noise early in the morning. And I was expecting them to be kind of stressed out about getting ready for today's trial last night, yet they didn't seem that busy at all. But this morning they were just going nuts. And she barking out orders, the Celestials running around like hyperactive fairies. So there was a sudden change in their behavior. Yes, yeah, seems like it. Something important went missing from the sound of it. There could be a big hint there. I'm pretty sure that they said what it was, but I can't remember the name at all. <sighs> Want to give me more info, Raymond? Of course you don't. Enjoy your shitty afternoon, I guess. <laughs> I like the transition there. It's just the roof turns blue instead of green. <laughs> oh, I think I see Miss Koishi over there. Huh? Where? Where? Strange, she's already gone. I wonder if she's being controlled by her subconscious. Oh, Miss Shimemaru. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What are you doing here so early? Before I answer that, I'd like to ask a question myself, if I may. Did you happen to see Miss Koishi around the shrine not too long ago? I'm afraid not. I see. Why do you ask? Oh, no reason in particular. By the way, is there anything else you haven't mentioned yet that might help us? Hmm. 
Alright, tell me what you've seen, player two. I thought about it for quite some time after the trial. And if anything caught my attention, it was the time from when I contract contacted the detectives until the time they arrived. The time, you say? Yes, I feel as if they were a little too quick to arrive. Like they were already prepared for your report. I wouldn't say that, but despite not being entirely accustomed to the role, they were surprisingly efficient. I see. I will note that as a personal opinion, then. I would appreciate it. Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? No? Could you tell me more about your statement? What is this thing? I do not know what that is. Shit. Hey, Raymond will. Um, okay, let me... Before I do anything, let me just... Let me show us to Raymond and see if she knows what it is before I get lost. What's this? I don't know. I just thought you might, since it looked like a, a bit like the yin-yang orbs you use. Too bad for you, but I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Looks like my guess was off. I bet you feel silly now. <laughs> no more than you do. Okay then, I guess I won't give you this silly hint. Oh, come now, Miss Hockerday. Don't be so heartless. Rice cakes. Huh? Extortion. Huh? Give me rice cakes and you have a deal. You still remember that from before? Of course I do. They don't even have to have the sweet bean paste filling. As long as they taste good, I'll help. Well, now to get Raymo on your side now. Well, I hope you would have no complaints about delicious food. Okay, I understand. I'll bring some later, so tell me what you want to know now. We're seriously running short on time. Alright, I'll take- I can take a rain check. You should go to Corindo and show it to Renosuke. He can tell you what it is and what it's used for. Huh? He has the ability to do that just by looking at something. He just can't figure out how to use it. So what's the point in it? And isn't that what it's used for? Isn't what it's used for all you need to know in this case? Oh, you're right! Yes, if we know that much, we should be able to figure out what it was used to do. Let's head over there right away. Thank you very much. I bet you feel silly now. <laughs> I love Rainbow. Uh, good thing I presented that evidence. Mr. Moichika. Well, 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 if it isn't the attorney, Tengu. This isn't the time to casually exchange greetings. We're losing time. Take that. W what's going on? Just look at it. Why are we just going with it? What is this thing? Whoa. What is it? We can't tell what it is either. That's why we want you to examine it so you can tell us what it, it's called and what it, use, it uses. Ah, I see. Hmm. So, can you tell what it is? Without a doubt. It's called a mini tide... Tide... Taijitu. It can move anything between any two places you desire. Huh? It lets you move between places. It seems like it. With this, you can warp across space itself. So it lets you appear anywhere you like, whenever you like. When you put it simply, yes. Do you want to know what this means, Aya? That must have been how the culprit snuck into the library. Right, looks like we finally figured it out. Will this have anything to do with the trial? Yes, there's so little physical evidence that we're in a real bind. I see, I see. We're not even sure if this could be an evidence, since we don't know how it's used, but we still made some headway. I really appreciate your help. Well, if I can do this much. Okay. So, it can be used to move between two points in space. So, it's basically a mini gap. But it's like paper. Like a teleporter? How weird. Has anything strange happened lately? Strange, you say? Yes, but I'm not sure it has to do with your case. That's fine. At this point, any tiny thing you could give us is a breakthrough we need. Alright, here it is. Oh, strange. What's this? A customer came by to sell this to me. Really? Of course. If I didn't come across it myself, how else could I have obtained it? Would the customer be anyone we know? Of course, it's none other than Reimu. What? Huh? She burst into the store last night and wanted me to buy it. Again? I don't really know where she got it from, but I told her that once I looked into it, I'd give her an offer. But do you know what it is? Do crows fly? It's called a pocket universe. 
You can freely change the, its size that allows it to hold anything. Oh, it's the... that thing. Hmm? Where have I heard that before? It seems familiar to me too. I haven't looked into its proper method of use yet, but it's probably very similar to your standard bag. It's basically the, uh... It's the equivalent to a video game inventory. How you can hold indefinite amounts of shit in your pockets. Would you mind- would you mind letting us borrow it, Mr. Moichika? What? I'm begging you. But I received this from Reimu, so... I actually want her to have a look at it. I'm very concerned as to how she got it, and the like. But... Please, I absolutely need to borrow it. If you let me... Go on. I'll have Momiji model for you, and you can take as many pictures of her as you want. What? Oh, that sounds fantastic. No! <laughs> You're so cruel, Aya. You want to help prove Mr. Tori innocent, right? Just deal with it. But I don't know if that's enough. Huh? If you agree to model for me as well, we have a deal. What? What's the matter, Aya? You want to help prove Mr. Tori innocent, right? <laughs> Ugh, nice comeback. I've been trained. So how about it? <laughs> Fine. But only after the trial is over. Negotiations complete. Here you are. Ugh, thank you very much. Able to hold anything of its uh, anything of any size. Its own size can also be changed, but its method is unknown. This is how uh, this is how that th those uh, those what was it? Was it was it an alternative facts or was it in Strange Creators that semi lewd Tengu pinup that uh, that was in one of those books? <laughs> this is how it started. Ah, you were right. You put the entire court record into it, and it didn't get any bigger at all. It seems it can become as large as it needs to be, but only on the inside. I have no idea how it works, though. Court record placed in the pocket universe. <laughs> no, that's fine. I didn't even notice that. You've been enough help as it is. Time to check with Miss Hakurde. It's all in the- it's all in there. Okay. Take me back to... Reimu. Miss Hakurei, are you here? You don't have to yell, I can hear you. There you are. What is it? Ugh, you noisy foul. I want you to tell me... Tell me about this. Ah! You act just now, didn't you? What are you talking about? You're acting way too flustered. Tell me about the universe, Raymond. <laughs> Gah, why do you have that anyway? I received it from Mr. Morichika. Shoot. You said this was a bag that could hold anything, did you not? Pretty sure this belonged to the Celestials. It's not like that. Then how is it like? It was left in my shrine, so it's my property. Alright. That's how I treat all moochers who stay here. <laughs> Would you give it up? with the closed-fisted mentality. So I sold off a couple other things. What's the big deal? They owe me. God damn it, Reimu. But they never explicitly gave it to you. You shouldn't sweat the small stuff. This is hardly small. Alright, tell me where you got this, and give me a straight answer. Ugh, oh, alright. While everyone was at the trial, I went looking through the room tent she was staying in for something I could sell at Corin. <laughs> But then Rinosuke told me that he wouldn't take anything unless he knew how to use it. All I wanted was some quick cash. God damn it, Reimu. Absolutely unbelievable. You're no better than Miss Kitty No, we're completely different. She does it for kicks, but I have to do it to live. I'm starving. Don't you see that I'm practically wasting away? You're supposed to work harder to be bring visitors to the shrine so that you can give you offerings. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Fine, you win. Do whatever you want with it. No, you seem to be mistaken about that, too. Are you going to return it? No, we're going to put this to good use as evidence. So you're doing the same thing I did. I am not. I'm returning it as soon as the trial is over. Damn, Aya. Further crimes. <laughs> is there any other info you were able to swipe? Isn't there a better way to put that? You do not have the authority to tell me what to worry about right now. Wow, rude. So, is there or is there not? There isn't. 
Really? Really? Hmm? I smell a lie. I told you, I don't have anything. Aya? I don't think I believe you. Why are you talking like that all of a sudden? Aya? No reason. You're starting to tick me off. <laughs> I said Aya! <laughs> Whoa, what? What is it, Momiji? Something just fell out of the bag. What the fuck is that? Is that a bell? Huh, what's that? Eek. Oh, Miss Hakure. Hey, why do you sound upset? That tone of voice doesn't suit a creature as lovely as yourself, you know? Stating the obvious won't help you. <laughs> of course not. What is this supposed to be, Miss Hakure? I don't know. Just because I happen to grab something off the ground doesn't mean I know how to put it inside and out. Don't get mad at me now. Ugh, this is getting out of hand. We're perfectly calm and collected. Just as if we were having a nice chat over tea. Well, it didn't have to come to a shouting match. Enough whining already. How'd you find this? It just happened to fall out when I was organizing the court record. What could this be? It looks like a bell. Oh, I know. Let's show it to Mr. Boy Chica. That's a good idea. Satisfied now? Thanks to you, we've gotten quite a few hints, but we'd like to keep it a secret, so pretend this visit never happened, okay? Fine, but in return, I get to come over to your place sometime for a meal or five. <laughs> I would rather you not. The bell can't fold to be placed in the court record, so it was placed in Aya's shirt pocket. Purpose unknown. Doesn't look like something you'd hang by a window. That uh, That's probably one of my favorite parts of this entire series right now, chat, is Aya's, Aya's back and forth there with Reimu. Top. Absolutely top. Could go a whole game with those two. <laughs> ah. He isn't here, is he? What a time for him to wander off and leave a store unattended. What should we do? Well, let's take a look around ourselves. Oh, God damn it! Alright, well, I'll check everything. I want to be the Pirate King. Looks like something from the outside world. Is that... Is that one piece of? I checked the pot. She found four gold. She quietly placed it back inside the pot. No, 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 that's yours now. A Buddha statue covered with dust. Hmm? Does it have a sterner expression than the last time I saw it? Hmm. What's this? This is the rumored Tokyo Tower pennant. I really want to get a hold of this. I mistook this as underwear, but it's a swimsuit. But why would anyone wear one in... Why would anyone wear one in Gensokyo? There aren't any seas or oceans here. You can go swimming in the lake, right? I think. You can play in the river. They do that. I guess. River rafting. It's locked with a key, but there doesn't seem to be any money inside. Maybe something important's in there. How can you tell if you don't have a key to check inside? 1984. Gap in time. Dr. Kamashirasawa and Miss... K <laughs> and Miss K. There's a lot of strange marks in here. That's <laughs> that's that's uh that's that's gotta be one of the most interesting. It's it's I I I don't know how to explain caved, <laughs> but that's a that's a reference to Doctor Jerkle and Mister Hyde. Gap in time, nineteen eighty four. That's a good one. I didn't expect that. That's a that's an old reference, chat. That's a really old reference. Uh, that was that was definitely worth the time. Uh, nowhere else to go. I guess I'll go to the parlor. <clears throat> Scarlet Double Mansion Parlor. Why is she here? I am Miss Quay. She's here. What? See? Right over... Huh? Did you lose her? Yes, I'm sorry. Well, if she's moving by her subconscious, I doubt she's going to be that easy to spot. Good morning. Good morning. Maybe Miss Scarlet is asleep. No, I'm awake. Ah, look, don't sneak up on us like that, please. See, you shocked Momiji senseless. I was not intending to frighten you. 
The fact is I just returned from Ante. How is Miss Knowledge doing? There has been no change. For that, I will admit that Aaron's proficiency is perfectly adequate. Well, that's good. By the way, you didn't happen to pass Miss Koishi on the way in, did you? No, I didn't see her at all. What of it? If you didn't see her, that's fine. I was only checking. I see. Get some intense music. Have you learned anything new since the trial yesterday? Nothing major, but I must admit those Celestials were unexpectedly capable. Why do you say that? They seem to have tools that afford them various methods. However, with the lack of evidence at the scene of the crime, they haven't produced much information. We're not having it much easier either. Of course, I apologize for not being of much assistance. Don't worry about it. I just never imagined the day had come when we would work together like this. I feel likewise. Oh, edgy poo. Alright, here. Tell me about this pocket universe. What is that? You tell me, champ. Maybe I can get more info on the... If I show her the thing with the teleporter, that'll help my case. What is that? Well, I, I kind of assumed that would actually give me something there. Back to the shrine. Do you know anything about this stuff? I do not know what that is. I do not know what that is. Alright. Back home? No. No. I guess I have to find something in here? Not like I can tell. Books, nope, nope. Dog, nope, nope, nope. Talismans, nope, nothing. I don't have anything in here. A mysterious panda that can calm just by looking at it. All right, I'm ready to take on the day now. G great, good job, Aya. Uh, uh, that motherfucker gone. No one here. There's nowhere else to go. Back to Remu. Why are you showing that to me? Well, here we go. Now what? <laughs> There's not even that much to look at, but it's. No, I don't know. Did I miss something in here? There's a box behind a pot. What? Huh? I see Eggman. Box behind a pot. Um. That's Pirate King. That's the Buddha statue. It's an air conditioner. That's the pot. No, I got nothing in here. Uh. No, I tried that, nothing. I seem to have got everything in here, but I can't talk to Renosuke because he's gone. But I can't, like, go anywhere else. I guess I just have to do this again. So, she doesn't care about any of this shit. What is that? 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 Not that, not that, not that. 
what is that? There's nothing more to talk with her about, so I can't get anything out of Romelia. Not like any of this matters to Remu. None of this should matter to Remu, so it should. Oh. Fuck off, I didn't even see that. I didn't I didn't even see the detention cell on the selection menu. God damn it. Good morning, Miss Satori. Good morning. Good morning. You're somewhat early today as well. I uh, yeah, I, I blinded that pretty hard. <laughs> I I didn't see it. Because you could only go there from the Hakkadei Shrine, and I guess I just wasn't paying attention or something. Oh well. Oh well. It's because the trial is starting earlier and there's a good chance it could run late. Is that so? I was playing a goose chase. Mr. Tori, I have given this case a great deal of thought. I can't shake the feeling that this whole ordeal is highly unusual. I'd like to start with your attitude. Why would you so readily admit to this crime? Could you think of it as accepting defeat graciously? I could not. <laughs> that was a swift reply. Naturally. According to my speculation, I believe that you are covering for someone, being pressured into this, or both. Why do you think so? The attack plan, the confession, even the attempts at misdirection, everything is altogether too unorganized. It doesn't seem like you at all. But even if you did hypothetically commit the crime, there is a very convincing answer to all of that. For what it's worth, may I hear it? That would be because you did not have any time to properly formulate a plan. If someone were threatening you, then you should go without saying that you wouldn't give they wouldn't give you any. But whatever the reason, this case happened only because you were pushed into it, one way or another. You could not get enough time to think things through, you had to take action on the spot. I see. So how about it? Won't you please tell me the whole story? That was very compelling logic. However, I did everything by my own hand. I will remind you once again, all I require from your service is, is a lesson my punishment. Miss Satori! It's fine, Momiji. I understand, Miss Satori. We will be back later. No matter how many times you ask, the reply will be the same. Then excuse us. Aya, why did she say that? Because that was what she wanted to say. Oh. Maybe I got a little too emotional. She might seem obstinate, but we can't let ourselves get hung up on that. It would be more productive to find something that will convince her to change her mind. Okay, Aya. Alright, there we go. Now we got some progress. Get Catch her. Please catch her. Huh, look, it's Miss Koishi. Oh, I lost sight of her. What was she doing here? I don't know. I get the feeling she might be looking for us. Do you mean Miss Koishi? Yes, yeah, she wants to either tell us or show us something. Well, let's be sure to ask her later. Right, for now, let's just do what we can do. Well, first, she broke into my house. So now I should be able to go to Corindo and he should be in, yeah? Huh? Ah! What is it, Momiji? It's Miss Koishi. Chase after her. We can't lose sight of her this time. Yes, ma'am. Where's she going? Seems like she's just wandering, right? Wait, I think she's heading underground. We haven't made any preparations, but we have to... There's no choice. We're going underground, too. I hope we'll be all right. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. And what? Luck. Oh. <laughs> when we're back underground, we ended up coming all the way to Chidi Den. Seems like it. And Miss Koishi would be over here. What? Hey, ya. Uh, finally. Finally? Yes, finally. T teeth chattering. Wow, Momiji must be scared out of her mind. But there's something about Miss Koishi's attitude that's making me break out in a cold sweat, too. What did you want? Do you have something you wanted to say to us? My sister. What about your sister? Are you threatening her? It's not us, but someone else, sad to say. We know that Miss Satori is being threatened, but not by but not by whom nor why. That's why we're trying to find out. How can you prove that? It's hard to prove something like that. It would be easier if you could read our minds. True. I almost want to reopen my third eye right now. But please ask Miss Ibuki, Miss Hoshiguma, Miss Oren, or Miss Oku about the situation. I'm just the defense attorney. Alright, I'll do that. 
Sorry for accusing you. I understand the situation a little better now. Just that is apology enough. By the way, would you happen to have any useful information? My sister's being threatened because of me, I believe. Ah, it seems like Miss Hoshigum and the others were right about that. Do you know why she's being threatened? Unfortunately, I don't know that much, nor why she was driven to close her third eye. I saw the Celestials come here and take her away, though. You saw that? Yes, I did. Was Miss Satori's third eye open, then? Yes, as it ever was. She didn't close it until after they let her away. I knew it. That proves that Miss Satori let herself be seen above ground in order to mislead everyone. Will you please help save my sister? I don't want to put her to put herself through this just to protect me. I understand. Please leave it to me. Thank you. Oh yes, there's two more things I wanted to ask you. What are they? When you move by your subconscious, no one should be able to see you. So how were you able to do so just now? I can't consciously manipulate the subconscious of others. So when you want to move undetected by others, I must use my powers, otherwise I'll be noticed, like right now. I see. And the other question. Do you believe in your sister? Huh? I don't really get what you mean, but yes, I do. Alright, that's the best answer. And in order to help your big sister, I, Aya Shimemaru, will be your big sister too. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> You're a funny one. Oh, so you can't smile after all. I'd like a picture of that later, if I may. Once my sister and I are together again? Until then. Uh, please wait. Hmm? Sorry, but maybe borrow Miss Oren and Miss Oku for a little while. They're my sister's pets, but I don't see why not. Should I send them to your place? That would help. If that's all, I'll be off. We must hurry back, Momiji. We're almost out of time. But what? Yes! So much for going to Rinosuke. How do you think the, the dev decides what time it is? 11.01 a.m. That just seems so... Why, why specify that minute? How does he do it? Does he just put a number? Like, it's, did he roll a number? Does he just pick whatever he's feeling? What's How is he doing it? Okay, all our stuff's together, so we're ready to head out again. All right. The trial starts in about two hours, so we're seriously running out of time. I hope we'll make it. Gotta go fast! <laughs> Tell me what you noticed. I can hardly keep things straight anymore. Oh well, at least you're trying. Droop. Good morning! Hey, you wanted our- you wanted our help, lady! Oh, there you are. I actually wanted to ask you to keep lookout. Lookout? Yes, that's what I said, no need to repeat it. I don't know why you want us for that. Yugi or Suika would probably be better. Not this time. I need someone who can keep lookout without being spotted. And you two, able to turn into innocent looking animals, are much more suited for the task. Um, pretty sure that Suika can turn into a cloud of smoke. Or mist, or whatever the hell she's turning herself into. Which is hella inconspicuous if you ask me. <laughs> so, whatever. Oh, wait, right, yeah, right there. But Suika can make herself teeny tiny or split up into like a bajillion pieces. I considered that, but she's way too strong. She might accidentally give herself away. Ah, <laughs> I could see that. All right, uh, it shouldn't be too tough. And if it's miss for Miss Satori, we'll give it our best shot. Okay, then, just try and stay within sight of us and don't let yourself be seen by anyone else. And when you enter a building, stay outside and keep a close eye on anyone who approaches. Got it. Order's accepted. Okay, let's get going. Alright, now we're gonna do some... We're gonna do some big work. Hey, with the raid, Oxy. How you doing? It doesn't look like anyone's here. <laughs> Maybe with the raid sub. You just knew just what to say. I guess they're all in investigating anywhere they can think of. Probably, we haven't even run into Miss Heen and I at all today. Now that you mention it, you're right. Actually, that's true. Where's she been? What's she been doing? How have I not run into her at all? I've been in, like, every notable location this trial. I just, I'll just, I'll just cover everything first, because I'm gonna have to. See what happens. Detention cell. 
Oh, it looks like she's being interrogated. In other words, she's not here. We'll have to come back later. Oh, she's not gonna be here later. We're going everywhere. STM parlor. Huh? It doesn't seem like she's available right now. Right, we'll come back later. Uh. Okay, now... He is... He is 100% going to be in. Oh, give me a break. He's not here. Huh? Where am I going? <laughs> Can't that man stick around his own store during operating hours? What should we do? Let's do a little poking around here by ourselves. I've already done that. I don't see anything different here at all. There's nothing here. There's... I've been everywhere, dude. There's nowhere else to go. Oh, come on. What's the point of that? Why? I was just here. I had so I, I had to go to the I had to go to the Corin though, and then the game had to tell me that Corin's not here, and then I could go to the Scarlet Devil Mansion, in which case someone is now here. What, Miss Scarlet? I humbly request a favor from you. My, why so meek? Well, I have come asking for something, so if it has to do with finding the crook, I have no reason to decline. Thank you very much. All right, talk to me, little one. No, let's not move away. May you please allow us to use use of the library. The library, you say? Yes, I'm sorry to impose, with Miss Knowledge absent. That is the only room where Patch has full control, but given the circumstances, I can allow an exception. Thank you very much. However, I cannot spare anyone to assist you. I'm well aware of that. Sakuya is the only maid here, so she will guide you. Sakuya! Did you call, lady? Show these two to the library. Certainly. This way, if you please. And please excuse us. Excuse us. Well, they cleaned up the body outline, at least. It has been 13 minutes since uh, my meeting in the, the at home. The trial's in like two hours, it said. No matter how many times I come here, the sheer number of books just leaves me in awe. I will be standing at the entrance, so if you require anything, please do not hesitate to call. All right. Time to look around. There's a bell here. It's probably used to call someone. Stuff with books on magic. Probably. I can't read the text to know for sure, though. So what am I in here for? What am I... There are books on all kinds of subjects here. There are many from the outside world, but they seem readable, surprisingly enough. Okay, that's more of the same. One more of the same. Um... Um, this book here looks interesting. Really? This is what the game we're playing? <laughs> Click the bookshelf until something pops up. What kind of book is it? It has celestial treasures in the title, see? No, I don't, because it looks like, oh. Maybe it's like a reference book? Well, let's open it up and find out. Wow, just look at all of these. Goho Tai, a bag containing wasps that can command, that can be commanded to attack an enemy. How is that a celestial treasure? That that's a product from hell right there. What do you mean celestial treasure? A fucking bag of wasps. That sounds awfully unpleasant. So, yeah, just a bit. Ah, here's the Taijutsu. Taijutsu. Let's see. A symbol engraved with the laws of heaven and earth, filled with all creation that allows two points in space to be connected. Interesting. The example here looks like the one we have, all right. It's easy to use, but all it can do is connect two spaces to allow for movement between them. Oh, and it's uh, only one use uh, one use only. Okay, a torn piece of paper with the yin-yang mark at the center can be used to move between two points in space. Only usable for one round trip. Found in the garden at the SDM. Okay. King Kaken allows one to hide their form. Wow, these all sound like tools to commit the perfect crime. Yes, I think so too. Hmm? What is it? 
Rakoncho. Anyone who hears the tone of this bell will lose consciousness and fall into a deep sleep. What? Do you think this could be it? Do you want to trust that? Then was Smith and I the one who used it? At any rate, it certainly seems like a the weapon. And this might help us return his knowledge to normal. Then we can... Ah, oh, yeah, that sound. Whoa, what are the wasps doing in the library? <laughs> Doppler effect. Yeah! That's some swarm. No, don't come any closer. I don't think we can do anything against them. Let's just get out of here for now. Okay. Why are you in such a hurry? A bunch of wasps just came out of nowhere and... Wasps? That's right, big ones. Hundreds of them. That seems rather strange. We are exceedingly careful not to allow them to form nests, but... Huh? Don't tell me! What's the matter? Momiji, where's the evidence? I didn't have the time to pick it up. Shoot! What's the matter, Aya? Those wasps were a decoy, and the ones who released them were after the rock hunt show. Ah! That was far too careless of us. I can't find it anywhere. That was definitely Miss Hina and I's doing. What do you mean? We had decisive evidence in the palm of our hands, and it was stolen from right under our noses. Momiji, you mentioned something that could manipulate wasps, right? Ah, I believe I did. This is it. The Goho tie, huh? So you say someone used it as a diversion. Sure seems like it. Man, she's gone and done it this time. Aya, what should we do now? Win the trial. What else? I'll make her pay for ruffling my feathers like that. Aya. Anyway, we better take a memo from the book about the rockin' show. Okay. Great, I lost it. Out of the court record with a heavy heart. Can rob others of their consciousness when wrong, put them in a sleep-like state. Stolen. Okay, now. Sorry to bother you in the middle of your crisis, but there's someone here to see you. Really? It seems so. They're waiting in the parlor, so come see me when you're through here. You know what I find interesting about this game? Is that the celestial treasures can... There, there's basically no end to what these things can do. Or what they are. I was not expecting... Bag full of giant wasps. To be a celestial treasure. But, hey. The shoe fits. Thank you very much. Should we go see them right now? Might as well. I get the feeling we're done here anyway. Understood. Who's it gonna be? <sighs> I'm 41 Scarlet Devil. Mansion Parlor. So how did it go? I saw the whole thing. That Tenshi lady chanted something and then poof! Disappeared. She left this behind so we picked it up. Here you go. Oh, shit. I see you now. So she uses these after all. Thank you very much. You've been a great help. But Aya, you don't think this will be enough to prove our case, do you? What do you mean? We don't have the evidence that shows how she used to lend enter the library. No good, huh? So why? I agree that it's a bit weak as evidence, but... But? If we're pushed to the edge, this will give us what we need to hold our ground so we don't go flying over. Ah, I see. Sorry, Aya. That's why it'll come in handy. You have my gratitude, Miss Oren and Miss Oku. Oh, so it's okay after all, huh? Soccer a good one for us, lady. <laughs> you can count on it. Sim <laughs> Second mini taijutsu. Similar to the first. Thanks. <laughs> Excellent text. I have nothing more to say. Well, at least you got right to the point. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. There's something here! <gasps> this is a... Yeah, Tenshi's been doing a great job making friends here, huh? It's been one hour since. Miss Satori? What is it? No matter what it is, I have nothing else to say. What? I won't speak of anything more, and I won't retract my confession. No! I understand, but please allow me to say one more thing. Nothing will be gained by averting your eyes. Aya? We met with Miss Koishi. Koishi! She has nothing to do with this case. But all we did was meet her. Well, we and have a short conversation. Seems that she trusts you.
If that's the case, then you'll finally talk to us? No, it means I absolutely can't talk now. No. That's what I thought. Huh? What? I imagine you would say that, but you have nothing to worry about. Uh... <laughs> no harm has been done. Well, the trial is going to start soon, so we must take our leave. Let's go, Momiji. Alright. Perhaps I should never have asked for your help. It doesn't seem like you're willing to give up. Hmm, don't worry, you won't regret it. The reporter of the Boon Boon Mutter newspaper is pure and honest. That's right. I'll see you at the courthouse. This is it, chat. Final trial. You know, that reminds me of that Yu-Gi-Oh card. The final countdown. When you play it, if after 20 turns you win the duel. What a fucking card that one is. <laughs> if this card is on the field for 20 turns and the person who played it wins the duel. <laughs> okay. It's like that Destiny board shit. Destiny board, actually, I use in the games a lot. I love that. Because it was just like, put the you put the F on the board, and every turn it adds another one until it spells final, and then you just win the game. Who made these? People, whoever made these cards didn't actually want to play the game. Alright, today's the last day of this trial. We had to tough it out, show them our guts. Win or lose. 20 turns is a lot. This was made back in the day when Yu-Gi-Oh! didn't end in one turn kill decks. So it's definitely not a good card anymore. But I just found it funny that there was a card that was just like if if you twenty if you go over twenty turns after this card has been played, you just you just win, dude. There's also self-destruct button, which forces a draw. That's a fun card. Alright, today is the day of the last Ow! Ooh, ow. Ow, my fucking ankle. Today we tough it out, show them our guts, win or lose. I hit my ankle with my ankle and now my ankle hurts. As to which one, that's a, anyone's guess. It seems a lot more driven than usual. Because I'm angry. Yeah, I self-destruct button myself. The funny thing about self-destruct button is it's a 7,000 po life point difference, which will lead you to believe that you're losing by 7,000. Or, you're losing 1,000 to 8,000. But what you can actually do instead is just give your opponent a fuck ton of life points to a point where you can just activate self-destruct button with, like, not actually losing life points yourself. <laughs> because I'm angry. Uh, Miss Heen and I, you got it. If she's looking for a fight, I'm gonna let her know that mine comes at a steep price. You're the one usually looking for a fight, at least when you go news hunting. What are you talking about? I told you I only window shop. I never, it never really seems like it. Because I never show it. What good does that do? Okay, forget about that and let's focus on the trial. We weren't able to cross paths with Miss Heen and I at all today, so we have no idea what move she might make. We seem to have been able been on the defensive for most of the trial. <clears throat> Life points don't matter until you hit zero. Yep. Right, uh, we haven't tangled with her for too long, so we're still not used to her tendencies and overall strategy. Can't imagine who she'd call for a witness either. Especially for today. Greetings. It's the last day, let's do our best. Yes, I hope that will come to an end without fur this will come to an end without further incident. Without further incident, huh? I wonder what that means. Indeed. The trial's starting, everyone. It's time to wrap everything up nice and neat. A true Yu-Gi-Oh match victory, you need the victory dragon. <laughs> That's such a fucking dumb card. <laughs> Today is the last day of the trial for Satori Komeiji, as there has been not been sufficient deliberation over the previous days, I hope that we will finally be able to provide this provide this case with the scrutiny it deserves. The prosecution is aware, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Good. I will be counting on both sides today. First, does the prosecution have anything to say? Yes, the defense seems to have forgotten this one, this one fact, so I would like to restate it for their benefit. Oh. What is it? That would be... The defendant has already confessed to her crime. Ugh. Yes, it is just as she says. Her disposition is so unusual that I had also forgotten. I will bear this in mind. Ugh, it's more like I was she was reminding the judge instead of me. I, I don't like the looks of this. She shifted the flow entirely in her favor and with one line. 
Not bad at all. Shut up, Aya. Now that our memories have been refreshed, let's start with our lead witness giving their testimony for today. Very well, show them to the stand. Uh hmm. What's the matter, Miss Heen and I? Is your witness not here? Oh, I'm sorry, I was trying to psych you out the defense a bit. <laughs> but you're always doing that. I call to the stand the defendant, Satori Komeji. Oh no! Well, well, what? Huh? What is the meaning of this, Messina and I? Nothing major, I assure you. I have simply asked the defendant to help sway the defense's unsightly tenacity. <laughs> Enough fooling around, the defense denies the wit. <laughs> the only fool here is you. The defendant has ass assented, and so long as the judge agrees, why should she not testify? Or are you just chicken? This is a court of law. You do not resort to name-calling in the court of law, Tenshi. <laughs> Cut that out already. You have no room to say that. Her testimony could put us in an unfair position. We have a right to decide... Objection. Satori, you're making it real difficult for me. Miss Satori... Please cease this struggle, Miss Shamemaru. I've told you not to go beyond the boundaries I've set. Mm. And I wish to give my testimony, understand? This is bad, Aya. Uh... Ugh. I understand, I still can't allow it. <sighs> if I resist now, yes, I won't hesitate to dismiss you. No. I understand. Please give your testimony. But on one condition. Hmm? If a certain person comes up in the following cross-examination, I want you to overlook it just once. Oh. Very well. But only once. That's fine. You did it, Aya. That was my trump card. What are you talking about? I'm very sorry, Your Honor. But there must be some confidentiality between the defense and their client. I would have appreciated such a conversation happening beforehand, though. Again, I apologize. The defendant wants to testify about the reason why we had to cut the trial short yesterday. I believe you will explain how you were able to do to be cited through though you were acting by your subconscious. Precisely. Then please begin. Yes, Your Honor. Why I was cited. The reason why I was cited is perhaps because I was not yet accustomed to having my third eye closed. As I was moving by my subconscious that day, I was able to enter the Scarlet Devil Mansion undetected. While I was moving between the Scarlet Devil Mansion and the Moria Shrine, my consciousness returned. In order to move undetected, I had to be in a subconscious state and control the subconscious of others. It was merely unfortunate timing that I was spotted. How was that, Your Honor? Yes, I understand now. As the defendant was not accustomed to her condition, she accidentally slipped back into consciousness, causing her to be unable to use her powers and therefore noticed by others. Is that an accurate summary? And concise to match, Your Honor. That would be logical. I believe it would be plausible enough to not require a cross-examination. Hmm, you have a valid point. Every single piece of testimony that comes up on this fucking stand is not warranting a cross-examination by the prosecution and judges' decisions. But that's not how this works. How is that valid? Your Honor, the defense has a right to cross-examine all testimony, remember? Uh, yes. So, how about we do this, then? The defense insists upon cross-examining such immaculate testimony for her own client, no less. This must mean that they clearly see a problem in it. It seems to me they should be able to get straight to the point. No beating around the bush. Hmm. What? Yes, I agree. The testimony also seems fine to me, but the defendant clearly knows something we do not if they can claim to cross-examine it. Now then, Ms. Shimamaru, please show us where the contradiction is at once. I don't know how, but this turned into some kind of preposterous situation. Well, I need to check my updated evidence. Because I don't know if I have anything that states what I'm thinking here. 
me see. Okay, let me see. Let me see. So I have, yeah, the mini thingy. That's not relevant right now. That's not relevant right now. That's not relevant right now. That's not relevant right now either. Release statement. Tension did not come to the Scarlet Level Mansion. So I was arrested the evening in Warrior Shrine. So I was being spotted within the Scarlet Simple Luck. Consciousness. Stories of Chirin Chen was nowhere to be seen. And Patchy the victim is a state of unconsciousness. Okay, so remember that remember that Koishi said that when Satori was arrested at Cheated in, her eye was open. But I don't have any I don't have any statement saying that. So I'm gonna assume what I need to do here is press on the right spot. But I don't know. So it's because I was not yet accustomed to having my third eye closed. As I was moving subconscious that day, I was able to enter the Scarlet Dinner Dimension undetected. While I was moving between Scarlet Dinner Oh god. No other move undetected, I had some con con conscious. It was merely unfortunate time and I got spotted. What's the matter, Mr. Mamadou? Hurry up with your contradiction. Maybe if you would stop getting in my way, perhaps there is none. Please wait just a little more, Your Honor. I need time to get all the facts straight in order to make my case clear. I have to pinpoint the issue at hand. Mm hmm, very well. Was saying that such a good idea? If I didn't, it'd be all over. Oh. But the more important thing is, what am I going to do? I can't find a way out of this. Me neither. At least she won't be penalized for trying to press her. Yes, it's like she's trying to toy with me, but I just need to stay calm. Yes, that's a good idea. Oh, okay, well, never mind. I thought I was going to get penalized if I press in the wrong spot, so let's just do this first. Um. I thought I we told you to point out the contradiction. It's not too late to start groping for hints. Oh, it's too late. Objection sustained. Ugh. As I was moving to my subconscious. Um. Oh, I'm getting blocked. <laughs> Chat, I'm getting blocked. <laughs> oh, I have to present something here. What do I... Oh, God. Okay, let's... Let's 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 look at the facts, chat. Let's look at the facts. So what do we have? We have Patchy Patchy's irrelevant. Patchy's state of mind is irrelevant. Story was restituted and intention was nowhere to be seen. Okay, that might not be relevant. States are conscious of stolen supernatural means. Okay. Story not being spotted within the Scarlet Double Mansion was simple luck. That's her own statement. Story was arrested in the evening tomorrow. You're trying to sign notify the detectives Tenchi was present at the time. Tenchi did not come to the Scarlet Double Mansion to oversee the crime scene investigation the crime scene. Uh, this stupid thing, this stupid thing, this stupid thing, and this stupid thing. Well, shit, dog, I don't know. I thought it would have something to do with Koishi, but I don't have any evidence from that right now. So where is it? In order to move undetected, I had to be in a subconscious state and control the subconscious of others. It was merely unfortunate timing that I was spotted. Was it though? What? What's the game plan here? What is the game plan here? In order to move undetected, I had to be in a subconscious state and control the subconscious of others. While I was moving between the Scarlet Devil Mansion and the Moria Shrine, my consciousness returned. I was able to enter the Scarlet Devil Mansion undetected as I was moving by my subconscious that day. The reason why I was cited is perhaps because I was not yet accustomed to having my third eye closed. Okay. Okay. I was spotted because I was not yet accustomed to having my third eye closed. But... But she was arrested and she dead and her eye was open, but I don't have... I don't have anything that says that because that was given to me... That was information given to me by Koishi, but not an actual statement itself. So I don't know what to present here. Oh, this is gonna be a real bastard, that's what it is. As I was moving by my subconscious that day. As I was moving by my subconscious that day. But I don't think that's true. I don't have any record saying it though. But, but when, 
Story was not spotted. Story was arrested in the evening. And she did not come to the Scarlet Little Mansion to oversee the crime scene investigation. And then the shit. It can't be the new shit. Or am I trying to prove something different here? Am I trying to prove that she could use this if her eye was... What the fuck am I using that for at all? They said I could press and I don't get penalized, but nothing comes of it. I'll just press everything. See what happens. See if I get blocked on every single one of them. Nope. I blocked on all of it. Yeah. Absolutely blocked. Bluff my tail off. We have to pull through this catastrophe somehow. How about a defense? Uh, I, um, there is a contradiction. No contradiction yet. I gotta bluff through- Oh, no. So there was no evidence. I have to lie like a motherfucker. Alright, let's do it. It's a matter of fact. There is a clear contradiction in the defendant's testimony. Eh? Really now? How interesting. Then indicate where this contradiction is. Yes, Your Honor. I've narrowed it down to these four parts, but which one could it be? I actually had to press everything despite the game telling me, No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. And then Aya changed her text there and it's like, gotta bluff. We're bluffing. But which one could it be? I was moved by my subconscious while I was moving my conscious return in order to move undetected. I was, it was merely unfortunate time. I was moving by my subconscious is what's incorrect based on Koichi's statement. So there's a contradiction here in that line of testimony. There is. Oh, God. Of course there's a contradiction. Oh. And that would be... You cannot prove that she was moving by her subconscious. Huh? What? Hmm? Miss Shimamaru, are you serious? Wasn't that... Hasn't that been one of the major premises of the entire case? That she subconsciously attacked someone? Since she can manipulate the subconscious, of course she can act while subconscious. Shoot, that wasn't it. You leave me no choice but to penalize you. I was wrong? Oh, fuck off. How strict. What's the matter? Hurry right, with your contradiction. Can you do it, Aya? I thought I was right. <laughs> and the other half? Oh, God. How about a defense? There has to be a contradiction. Okay, where is it? How interesting. Indicate where it is. The contradiction. So it's not her moving by her subconscious. While I was moving, my consciousness returned. In order to move undetected, it was merely unfortunate timing. So I'm going to assume it was the unfortunate timing bit because... I don't know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. While I was moving, my consciousness returned. That's interesting. Unfortunate timing, I don't know. In order to move undetected. Hmm. In order for... Yeah, Koishi explained her powers where if she wants to move subconsciously, she has to alter other people's. So she has a hand in it. She has a hand in it when she does it. So there's contradiction in this line. There is. Sure is. I hope. I don't know. Of course there's a contradiction. Oh. And that would be? You can't prove that she was spotted by chance. What? Huh? Huh? Shmamit, are you serious? I don't know! <laughs> My brain has shrunken. It's gone to lunch. I'm, I'm, I'm losing it. The word subconscious doesn't even sound like a word anymore. <laughs> uh, yes, there's a contradiction, you piece of shite. Which one is it? I don't know. 
my brain not working. I bet I got it wrong again. So there's a contradiction in slant testimony. There is. I got it wrong again, didn't I? Of course there's a contradiction. Oh, and that would be? You can't prove that she can manipulate the consciousness of others. What? Huh? Huh? The Shamaimit, are you serious? Hasn't that been one of the major premises of the entire case? She stole someone's consciousness so if she couldn't control it, it wouldn't make any sense. Shoot, that wasn't it. You leave me no choice but to penalize you. No, 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 no. Chat, 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 chat. See, that was a, that was all just a ploy. That was all just a ploy to show you the wrong answers. That's all it was. My my brain my brain shrunk so small that it, it looped around and became huge again. So yeah. That, that's all. That's all it was. Don't worry about it. I played you all. You you were all, you all danced in the palm of my hands. <laughs> yeah, just hit the press button. Sometimes my genius. Sometimes my genius surprises even me. The fact that it takes me back. The fact that it takes me back to that option and doesn't auto-select me in there means there's probably no contradiction at all. But I don't I don't usually trust the game when it gives me an option to say yes or no. Because when I say no, it's just like, why the hell would you say no here, dumbass? Like why but there were so many times the game gave me options that didn't make any sense to say no to. This is that's so weird. Bluff. How about a defense? There is no contradiction yet. Let's do it. Please wait just a little more, Your Honor. I need time to get all the facts straight in order to make it. I have no pinpoint issue at hand. Very well. I was saying that's such a good idea. Wow. Okay, so there is a contradiction. There was. Click, 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 click. Yeah, you can hear it. I'm trying to keep it away from the mic, but like it just, I gotta mash. I gotta mash the button. If only I could mute my mouse. A silent mouse would be great. I don't know what just happened. Okay. I think I need to press here. I need to get silenced. Yeah. What's the matter? Maybe you could stop. Perhaps there is none. Can you do it? Oh, yeah. I could take a while. Guess what half of it. And the other half, bluff my tail off. Will it really work? Did it fall through? How about it? Defense. There it is. A contradiction! Yep, just showing all the different choices. That's all, chat. I've narrowed it down to four lines. I was moving. It's this one. There's a contradiction in this line of testimony. There is. Of course there's a contradiction. See, she says it with a lot more confidence here. Oh. And that would be... There, the instability of her subconscious state is a downright lie. What? But how can you make such a... How can you make that statement? I would like to leave that aside for now and focus on the fact that her subconscious state was unstable. The defense is trying to mislead us by bringing up unrelated claims. Hmm. Indeed, while the matter concerns me, it does seem... not seem directly related... Connected! I'm not misleading anyone, if you'll let me make myself clear. That's just a waste of time. How can you assert that? Fine then, give us your reasoning. But if you're wrong, be prepared to pay the price. Right, now explain yourself, Ms. Shamamadu. The reason is, because she was threatened, because she let herself be seen. She purposefully allowed herself to be seen. Hmm? What? Huh? What do you mean by that, Ms. Shamamadu? What I mean is that the defendant wanted to be spotted. But, but why? For what purpose? So that she could put on a trial. That was her intention. I am finding it increasingly difficult to follow your logic. I can't understand a word you're saying. Your Honor, the defense is trying to throw the proceedings into disorder with their nonsensical babbling. 
My babbling is entirely sensical. <laughs> if I may be allowed to explain myself. Yes, please do. Objection overruled. No. Continue, Miss Shamamadu. Yes, Your Honor. First, she was sighted as she moved from the Scarlet Devil Mansion to the Moria Shrine. At that point in time, no one had yet discovered the unconscious Miss Knowledge, so she let herself be seen as a strategic move. The fact that Miss Izayoi saw her first was a complete coincidence, but being seen by anyone at all would have done the job. But that would only create more a mere eyewitness. That's right. However, it would have to be someone who could easily who could be easily called as a witness, otherwise it wouldn't really work. Yes, I can think of a few who would give us problems. <laughs> it's for the best that I that it didn't turn out like that. Absolutely. But in any case, she seems to have gone to the she just see there. Yeah, she was seen going to the Moria shrine, and then she was spotted at the shrine itself. That way she had created two solid uh, witnesses who could claim that they saw her. I presume she wanted Miss Moria and Miss Yasuka to be eyewitnesses, yet Miss Kochia was the only one at the shrine then. That was the purpose behind her actions. Hmm, yes, I see your point now, but I believe the defendant would need a reason to as well. That's right. If you can't show us why she did it, we aren't buying into your idea. This is a crucial point. The reason can be explained now, must be explained later. It is not yet time for me to prove that. Really? I currently lack sufficient evidence at this stage to prove a reason. The process of unwinding a mystery is important, or else it just gets even more tangled up. Well said. So let's have our defendant give us a step-by-step -step recounting of the attack. Is that alright with you? No problem. In fact, it's just what I was hoping for. Ooh. Ooh, smug Aya. Here we go. On that day, I entered the Scarlet Devil Mansion library undetected by manipulating everyone's subconscious so they wouldn't take notice of me. Once there, I waited behind a bookshelf until Miss Knowledge approached. Choosing a time when she was alone, I stole her consciousness using my powers. Afterwards, I left the mansion in a similar manner, completely undetected. Does it not strike you as commendable how she confesses to her misdeeds? Quite. There is no further doubt in my mind. I will now hand down my verdict. <clears throat> well, wait, 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 wait. Why? Can't you be a little quieter? Just let it end and I'll even treat you some nice tea. That's not the problem. What happened to my cross-examination? Ah. <laughs> oh, if you'll excuse me. Please go ahead. Wait a moment, Your Honor. What now, Miss Hina and I? This testimony is about as perfect as the previous one. In fact, I believe that the defense thinks they'd already found the contradiction. Therefore, I do not want them dragging out the trial with pointless questions. Hmm. Hold on. Please stop making such selfish claims. Selfish? You should be grateful we're even letting you cross-examine your own client's confession. You did it last time. Why can't you do it again? Enough. Mr. Shimamaru, I find the defendant's testimony to have sufficient credibility. I will consent to the prosecution's claim to hasten the proceedings. No, don't. Come now, time's wasting. Grr. I'm starting the cross-examination. Alright, let me get the... Let me hit the save button. And let me see if Momiji has any... Wise words of wisdom. Not the one outside, though. That, that Momiji is not gonna help me get to this case. Come on, Mr. Mamadou, why don't you show us the contradiction already? However, you good for nothing slime ball earthquake causing so and so. <laughs> slime ball, huh? What should we do? We can't budge an inch. All we can do is present something. The fastest way to point out the contradiction. Well, hang in there. Maybe that piece of testimony can come in handy here. Oh, 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 oh. I just got. Okay, hold on. So we know. So we need someone's statement. So, Patchy the victim is- okay, that doesn't help. When the story was arrested, she had intention to notice that doesn't help. Your conscious knowledge would naturally need to treat about medicine, doesn't help. The story was not spotted within the Scarlet Mansion with simple luck. The story was arrested in the evening and Moria trying to sign out of the detectives. Tenji did not come to the Scarlet Devil Mansion to oversee the investigation of the crime scene. So, the fact that she said it was, uh, someone's testimony means it's probably- it's either Suika's? Sun, uh, Sunai's, Romilia's, or her own. But 
I don't really know. I don't think it's this, because this isn't testimony. This is just a... This is just an object. It's an object that does something, but it's not what we need. I entered the Scarlet Double Mansion's library undetected by manipulating everyone's subconscious so they would not take notice of me. Once there, I waited behind a bookshelf until Miss Knowledge approached. Choosing a time when she was alone, I stole her consciousness using my powers. Afterwards, I left the mansion in a similar manner, completely undetected. Shit. Hmm. What are we gonna do? Gotta point it out with testimony. That piece of testimony could come in handy here. She didn't say evidence, she said testimony, so it's related to the it's related to the, the accounts. But I have four things here. I entered the Scarlet Devil Mansion's library undetected by manipulating everyone's subconscious. So they would not take notice of me, okay? Once there I waited behind a bookshelf until Miss Knowledge approached. Choosing a time when she was alone, I stole her consciousness using my powers. Afterwards, I left the mansion in a similar manner, completely undetected. So let me see what we have. What are the facts? Patchy, the victim is in a state of unconsciousness, yet non-moral, under examination, doctor's not pretentious. Okay, so it's not that. When Satori was arrested, it cheated and she was nowhere to be seen. That is not helpful in this, because that doesn't have anything to do with Scarlet Devil Mansion. This is Patchy's condition, not helpful here either. Story not being spotted within the Scarlet Devil Mansion was simple luck. But the thing is, this is Satori's own statement. Can I, can I use her own statement to contradict her own statement? I don't think that works. No reason you can't, but I don't understand how it works. Satori was arrested in the Eden Warrior Shrine, so that has nothing to do with it. And Tenshi did not come to the Scarlet Devil Mansion to oversee the investigation of the crime scene. So the only thing I can think of is it's her testimony that I have to beat it with, but... Is it the end or the beginning? Not being spotted was pure luck. I left the man... Hold on. It's... Uh, let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, it's not that... Well, you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You know what? That makes sense. That makes sense. So let's see. Maybe it's it's not that. Choosing a time when she was alone. Okay. Once there, I waited on a bookshelf. So this piece of testimony would only apply to either the first or the last. So if it doesn't work here, then it's not the answer. <laughs> well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. In the detention cell, you said you only snuck in undetected by chance. I naturally made a record of it. Why did you change your explanation here? Because it was a bother at the time. Excuse me? This, that is, going into detail. I testified about the actual circumstances just now. No. Defendant, such statements cause naught but strife. I'm sorry, Your Honor. If that's all you have, that's as, if that's all I have, that's as far as I can go. On that day, more. I don't have any more. Come on, Mr. Mamadou, why don't you have the contradiction already? Wait, good for nothing. Slime ball. As fast as we can point it out, we'll hang in there. Um, she changed the statement. On that day, I entered the Scarlet Mansion, but I so they would not take notice of me. Once there, I waited on a bookshelf, choosing to alone to store consciousness. Afterwards, I left the mansion in a similar manner, completely undetected. No, she didn't change her statements. Well, she changed her statement, but she didn't change her testimony. But now that I've Hold on. Hold on. Let me try her statement again here. And see if it, it allows me to do it. Okay, no. That's fine. I just want to see if that would change. 
I want to see if that would change as a result of presenting something in the first half. So we know the first thing to go through here is present her own statement against her here. But then what? So this is step one. This is step one. It's a bother at the time. Excuse me. I was going to deal testify to the actual circumstance just now. No. Defendant such statements cause not but strife. I'm sorry, Your Honor. That's all I have is as far as I can go on that date. Okay, so that's step one. So that but that's all I have right now. But the the hint at the in the end. The end the hint at the end hasn't changed. <clears throat> it would take notice of me. Once there, I waited behind a bookshelf for Miss Matchley. I noticed. Here's a time when she's alone. I stole her consciousness using my powers. Maybe it's here? Consciousness was stolen through supernatural means, not treatable with medicine. Okay. Story not been spotted. Story was arrested, and she did not come to Scott Double Mansion to oversee the investigation. It can be used to move between two points in space. Only usable for one round trip. Found in the garden SDM. I don't know if this is the correct thing to use. Or whether their consciousness went wrong. Stolen being able to hold anything in their size, and then similar to the first. So here's the thing. It still tells me there's testimony. I don't see any testimony that works here. The only thing I can think of is the bell and the paper. Because the paper is a way in here without having to go through all that mumbo jumbo. And the bell is another explanation as to the, the, the ability to take. But I don't think, yeah, I didn't think the bell. The bell is not relevant right now. The bell is not relevant right now, so that's not it. Let's try the let's try the taijutsu. No, it's not that. I don't know. We've got a bookshelf. She you know the time she'd alone, I stole her consciousness and my powers. After I left the mansion, I my manner completely undetected. I don't know. I don't know. So it's not that. No. I really don't know. I don't have a... I don't have any... I don't have any idea what to go on here at all. I'm 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 more or less just guessing right now. I don't know how it could be anything. No. I'm gonna take this moment to press and see if I can get any information, because I haven't pressed anything out of worry of not being allowed to do so. The game wants me to present evidence, but I don't know. So let's see if this does anything. By the time you had already closed your third eye, yes, had I not, I would have been unable to manipulate. Wait, I can, I can, I can, okay, hold on. So let me try this. Let me present this and then do all the, uh, pressing. Because I was under the impression I wasn't allowed to press anything. But it seems like the game is letting me do that, so I'm gonna... Let's start with the, let's start with this. Let's start with this. And from there, we can press for more information as a result. And if Tenchi wants to throw the book at us, then fucking let her. I got five lives. By the time you had already closed your third eye. Yes, had I not, I would not have been able to manipulate the subconscious of others. Stop asking questions you already know the answers to, defense. Objection sustained. Something? I just need to find something I can use. Once there, I waited for... Okay, yeah, I see, I see, I see. Why did she approach you? I made a noise to draw her attention. 
Defense, do you think how exactly she lured the victim matters at all? Stop objecting when I'm getting to the good part. <laughs> Choosing a time when she's alone, I stole her consciousness using my powers. Didn't you say that was by chance? Only in how the opportunity presented itself. But, shut up, Tenchi. Face the facts already. This is a direct testimony from the accused herself. Oh, stop getting in my hair. Where's I let the man just suddenly uh, completely undetected? Where'd you go afterwards? To the Moria Shrine. You've known that from the start. Would you please quit confirming every tiny detail? All you're doing is prolonging the trial. What's your deal? That is enough. Seems you've been unable to make any progress. Okay, well, it looks like there really wasn't anything I could do at that point, so that's why I was unable to draw any conclusions. No, I wouldn't say that. You shouldn't push yourself too hard, you know. Why don't you let me worry about myself? Oh, by the way, Miss Heen and I. What? I was talking with Miss Hockaday earlier, and she mentioned you all use quite a few celestial treasures. What about it? I happen to have found some after you've used them. Huh? What are you talking about, Miss Shimamaru? I would like to submit them as evidence so I may speak more about them. Hey, here we go. I will decide whether or not to accept them after I hear about them. First, show us what these treasures are. Nice. Is this some sort of yin yang symbol? It's called a mini taijutsu. It's a single use item that allows anyone to warp from one point to another. Warp? As in travel through space? So could this also allow someone to enter an enclosed space undetected? Yes, your honor. By the way, that has the stamp from Corindo's owner, so we are certain of its purpose. Corindo's owner? Oh, you don't know him. The proprietor of Corindo, Mr. Renosuke Morichika, has the ability to understand the name and purpose of any object just by looking at it. But what? The only unfortunate thing is that he doesn't know how to use it. Take my notebook, for example. What about it? He could see that it's called a notebook and that it's used to make a record of things, but he couldn't tell that you needed some writing utensil to make said record. But we know enough about this dangerous object. With this, anyone could have committed the crime. Indeed. For what it's worth, I received it from Miss Romelia Scarlet. She said it was picked up in one of the gardens on the Scarlet Devil Mansion estate. As it's quite close to the scene of the crime, it would seem natural to believe that whomever used it went inside the mansion, would it not? No objection here. So what are you trying to say? Are you saying that I used the cowries? Oh, but I just call them celestial treasures. I never once mentioned cowries. Uh-oh. Well, that saves me the effort, at least. Yes, this is one of the fabled cowries made by celestial hermits. A taijutsu. It seems odd to have a celestial treasure linked to a case like this. Hmm? Celestial. Yes, our detectives happen to be celestials. What? So what? Huh? You think I have something to do with that scrap of paper somehow? Well, it's a celestial cowrie, isn't it? Yes, I've used quite a few cowries, but I haven't used any taijutsus in a while. I can't pronounce these words, chat. <laughs> it's struggling. So what are, they, what are they doing? Oh my, however did you manage to get a hold of that? Do you know a hermit from somewhere? Ah, uh, actually, yes. A few of them. But they don't exist yet, so, no. You stupid, slippery celestial. Stop playing innocent. While it does seem suspicious, I agree that no clear connection has been made. No. Ah. Uh, hmm? I have one more here. Similar to the first. Oh. This is one that Miss... Rin Kainbyo and Miss Utsu Ryuji saw Miss Hina and I use from outside the Scarlet Devil Mansion. Then they picked it up after when she used it. Ah. Ah, good grief. Huh? How long are you gonna keep this up? What do you mean by... What do you mean, what do you mean? Both the judge and I have already realized the problem. Yes, Miss Shimamaru. Do you have proof that the prosecution used those objects? Huh? Ah! Judging from your face, you don't. What happened to your camera? Your pride and joy. 
I was elsewhere at the time. Oh, too bad. I guess you don't have any way to prove it. Ugh. So what will you do now? You can't name another suspect, much less prove there is one. Right. I think I'm able to hand down my verdict. Ah! The defendant, Satori Komeiji, is... Objection. Wanna bet money that's Koishi? Yeah! Yeah, give me that money! That sounds like rain. Or wind. Or both. Ko Koishi? Satori? Excuse me, but this trial has not ended yet. If you want to talk to your sister, please wait until... Satori, do not appreciate this. But... Bye. What was that about? <laughs> Don't throw your glimmer rocks at Koishi. You're throwing pebbles at a pebble. Well, it's probably nothing we need to be concerned about. You were able to hand down your verdict anyway. Objection. She back? Oh. Now what? I deeply apologize, Your Honor, but may I please testify once again? Oh, excuse me. I you know what? I didn't realize I said that. That's my fault. Oops. <laughs> what? No, you can't. Please, I beg you. This testimony will be completely different. This case is over. I won't let you complicate things anymore. Hmm. Listen to that rain go. The defendant has said there is still something must, that must be discussed. We should listen to her testimony. Mr. Mamado, is there any information that I need to hear? Information? Yes, anything that shows that I need to hear any more testimony from the defendant. I will not dispute its authenticity, yet if its information is obviously false, there will be a strict penalty. How about it? Well, Your Honor, I would like to present to you my save file. I am going to be showing it to you multiple times in the event that I fuck up. Hope you're prepared. If I'm going to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat, I need to do this. There is... Information. There is no information. Unfortunately, there is no further information. At least nothing that I have on hand that can prove it. Hiya! I see. Then there is no further need for discussion. I will pass my verdict on Satori Komeiji. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> and that's why you never say no. <laughs> never say no. Defense? Do you have anything at this time? Lol, no. Where'd my kid- what? Did you see that chat? Did you see how my save record didn't load there for a second? Holy shit, that was scary. That was true fear. <laughs> that was... Whew. Aki took my save. Oh. Uh, I need to see if it's raining. I mean, I know it's raining, but I need to see if it's hitting my window still. Chat, does rain smell where you live? I seem to read somewhere before that people say they, they smell rain. Like, I smell rain. I can smell rain. But some people be like, what, you, what the fuck do you mean you smell rain? I'm telling you, it smells like rain. Summer rain. It's sort of some yin yang symbol. Maybe I should just close my window. Hold on, let me, I'll do that instead. That'll be easier. That'll be easier to deal with. Probably gonna get in here anyway. I'll do. I'll do, pig. I'll do. Ugh. All right, time to live in the hot box for a little bit. I have my fan on, on my feet at least, so it's keeping my toes Oh, it's keeping my toes chilled. It is called a mini taijutsu. It is a single-use item for the- yeah, I already seen all this. 
So I need to get to the point where I have to present evidence. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're going for a lot of uh, a lot of shit. I've already read. Yep. Here it is. I have two eyewitness accounts that say you used it. You can't prove that anyone used it. What? What ha Is the credibility of my cat and bird not good enough for you? Kind of bullshit. All right. Here's Koishi. She's gonna deliver her words of wisdom and then fade away to nothing. And it's going to cause Satori to finally fucking cooperate after five hours. Goodbye, rain. Anything that shows. If I get this wrong, guess what happens if I get this wrong, chat? We get to do that all over again. There is information. Yes, this there. these prove there is more information. I didn't get a chance to bring it up yesterday, but now I can use the driver to a corner. Present two pieces of evidence. I didn't prepare this far ahead. Present two pieces of evidence that I couldn't bring up yesterday. Well, that would imply that it's not evidence I currently have, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The bell? I didn't have the bell until earlier today. But I have said- I had just straight up mentioned that these were things that I could use, uh, I didn't get to use yesterday, which means it should, by that, by that, by that text, it should mean that the evidence I need to use is evidence that existed before today. Which means the bell is not part of that. If I, if I had to guess, it might have something to do with Tenshi's lack of presence. Through uh, Suika's statement and Romilia's statement. So let's try that together and see if I have to redo the whole thing anyway. Yeah. And I'm wrong. Eh. I did not see those two pieces of evidence having to do with each other. Really now? If you do, I demand an explanation. That would be pretty tough. Do not test my patience. Choose again. Yes, this proves more information. So much for. Her. So much for a penalty. I didn't get a chance to bring it up yesterday, but now I can use the driver in her corner. Present two pieces of evidence. As of her lack of uh, presence at the... Toy is arrested, Tenshi was nowhere to be seen. Okay, no. So we're not being spotted at the Scott Devil Mansion room. I haven't used Romilia's statement for anything yet. Tenshi did not come to the Scott Devil Mansion to oversee the investigation of the crime scene. Um... But what else do I have on there? Say to their conscious stolen snow from the trailer. So it's not spotted to other one. I think remember me statement is one of them. She wasn't the SDM that's what I just tried with Suika's statement. Suika's statement and Romilia's statement together don't do anything, so it's not that. But I think I think Remy's statement is involved because Remy Remy's statement hasn't been used yet, and it's kind of important. And it's evidence that I had that I couldn't use yesterday. So I'm pretty sure Remy's statement is correct, but I need something else to corroborate with it. And it would need to be something... It would need to be something that I had access to yesterday that I didn't get to use. So it's not that. It's not that. It's not that. It's Tori not being spotted, that's simple luck. I haven't... It's Tori, yeah, so Remy's, I haven't, haven't used Remy's. Maybe it's this thing? I'm thinking, maybe it's this thing. Nope. Really now? That would be pretty tough. Choose again. Do not test your patience. You are very patient, Judge. That you're letting me just fuck up royally in front of you multiple times. <laughs> I 
Oh god. Says your conscience was stolen through supernatural means. I don't know. I'm just not gonna go through the message of the crime scene. So the robot of their conscience went wrong, putting them in sleep like state stolen. Let's try the bell and Patchy's diagnosis. Mm, nope. Not that. Hmm. This proves there's more information. I guess let's try the case file itself and Patchy's diagnosis. Maybe there's more to the ability. To how she did it? I don't know. No, nope, that's not it. That would be tough. Do not test my patience. Choose again. Okay, yes, this proves there is more information. I didn't get a chance to bring it up yesterday, but now I can use it to drive her into a corner. I don't know. Bag and bell, you didn't have them at day three. The bag and the bell. The bag and the bell. Those are both from today, yeah. That, that's not gonna work. Uh, let's try the case file and Remy's statement. I still think it's Remy's statement. But I don't know how it's Remy's statement. I don't know. Disprove... These prove there's more information. More information, huh? Uh, more information to acquire from the testimony. What are we still not getting here? What are we still not getting? Try Remy's statement and Sanai's statement. Or, let me try Sanai's statement and Suika's statement. Let me try that. I don't, I don't know, though. I wonder if the order you present them in matters. Okay, it was that. Tori, this is what you wanted to address, right? The double arrest, which is something that got talked away. This makes sense, sort of, but I really I really thought it was going to be something I hadn't presented yet, but I have presented both of these files. Alright, let's see what happens. That is correct. So you both wish to further explore this topic. Didn't we settle the matter of the arrest that cheated in yesterday? I absolutely must give my own testimony on the matter. Yes, the defendant. Well, explain the contradiction in these two statements. Oh, here we go. Does that not require further discussion? Very well. You're just gonna cook up some bogus. Objection overruled. If the defendant herself still has relevant testimony to give, it is worthy of deliberation. No. Due to the further prolongment, let us take a short break. Court is in recess. Recess? Oh, God. So you're willing to tell us everything at long last, Miss Satori. Don't be mistaken. Huh? The following testimony will merely be insurance. Uh. So you're saying that you're only going to reveal a little bit more of the story. Correct. Then if you were able to expose the contradiction within, that's when you'll finally let the cat out of the bag. I promise. Alright. I'll do my best. I guess this has something to do with Miss Koichi. Now is not the time for that, Miss Mo Momiji. I hope the rain stops, because it's getting smoldering in this fucking room. I don't have anything. I don't have, I don't have anything.
anything. God damn it. Chat, I'm opening my window again. One sec. I'll be right back. state or I can have the window closed to be happy I have to have it open now it's not time for that Momiji <laughs> sorry I have great expectations for you Miss Shimamaru mm, thank you very much I'll give you the performance of a lifetime and blow this case wide open I think they're ready to start all right let's get to it are they going to show that celestial what happens when you tangle with Tengu Please retake the stand, defendant. Yes, your honor. Now, about what exactly will you testify? I would like to explain the circumstances of my arrest. Very well, you may start. I was arrested at Chididen. Ms. Hina and I was not present at the time, but she had sent a letter stating the nature of the charges and demanded I consent to the arrest. Later, by my suggestion, we created witnesses through the tra trick. I wanted to help bring the trial to a swift end by strengthening the credibility of my guilt. I apologize for our slightly outrageous actions. Well, I must say that was quite unprecedented. Prosecution also apologizes for the trouble. As penalty, I will forbid the prosecution from raising objections at any point during the defense's cross-examination. Understood, Your Honor. Now, please begin, Ms. Shimamaru. The story has finally given me the chance I need. I absolutely can't let it go to waste. Time to press everything. Let it go to waste. Give me, give me all that info. Mm, mm, I'm going to consume info. Are you certain about that? Yes, unquestionably. Order in the court. Of all the preposterous ordeals. My deepest apologies, Your Honor. Ms. Hina and I was not present at the time. It's true. She didn't come to arrest you. No, she did not. I see. Just double checking. But she had sent a letter stating the nature of the charges and demanded I consent to the arrest. A letter, huh? Yeah, was in her handwriting. I wasn't certain, but as I was guilty, I graciously complied. I see. So you're going to persist in claiming liability until I can prove otherwise, huh? Later, by my suggestion, we can wit we created witnesses through the trick. Is that when you were spotted going from the library to the shrine? Yes. As there is very little time, I was able to. It's all I was able to devise. It did seem like an awfully hasty plan. What would you have done had there not been any witnesses? The notion never even occurred to me. You don't say. I wanted to help bring the trial to a swift end by strengthening the credibility of my guilt. Did you discuss it with Miss Hina and I? Yes, I thought of it as being led to the detention cell. And when she agreed with your plan? Correct. I apologize for our slightly outrageous actions. Oh yeah? Just slightly, huh? I deeply regret it. We shall deal with that matter at a later point in time. Now I think I'll understand what she meant by insurance. If we can break apart her testimony, that will give us what we need to turn the trial around in our favor. But if we don't, then she'll end up being declared guilty as she just as she said she wanted all this time. Yes, so we must find some way to make the most of this testimony. Have you figured it out yet? Maybe. Let's try presenting evidence that seems related. Even if we can't directly address the issue, sometimes the scenic route is the fastest way. Huh? You don't get it? Um, ah. This testimony is the same as the other. We need the evidence that explains her resigned behavior. That's right. Okay, time to launch our counterattack, Momiji. All right. Chad, were you following that conversation? Because I certainly wasn't. So I have evidence. Do I, though? Evidence that... I don't fucking know anymore. It's been almost three hours. I was arrested at Chididen. Messina and I was not present at the time. But she had sent a letter stating the nature of the charges and demanding that I consent to the arrest. 
Later, by my suggestion, we created witnesses to that trick. I wanted to help bring the trial to swift end, strengthening the credibility of my guilt. Apologize for our slightly outrageous actions. Uh. Uh. I don't know. Witnesses through that trick. She had sent a letter stating the nature of charges and demanded I consent to the arrest. I carries this wherever she goes. That she's the victim. Tutorial's arrest attention she was nowhere to be seen. Get her unconscious and stunned. Now she need no general medicine. Story not being spotted within the sky of the little mansion was simple luck. Tutorial's arrest in the evening. Warrior triumphs tonight. Noted by the detective. Attention was present at the time. Attention did not come to the sky of the little mansion. Overseeing the investigation of the crime scene. Torn piece of paper with the yin yang. Dip. That doesn't help. Will hold anything of any size. Doesn't help. It's a little first. Doesn't help. She sent a letter and stating the nature of the charges and demanding I consent to arrest. Later, my session with Crazy was a trick. I wanted to help bring the trial to swift end by strengthening the credibility of my guilt. Uh, uh, I don't have much of a brain left anymore, chat. She was arrested. But she was arrested in two different places is the problem. But it seems like what she's saying what she's saying is she was arrested at Chiriden and then she was told and then she flew she flew off while arrested to create witnesses to strengthen her own guilt but it's like what? that's confusing that's very confusing I don't understand let's try Sanai's statement I didn't think so. I didn't think this would actually do anything here, but there was a chance that it might, so I had to take it to be sure. So she was arrested at Chiriden, and she was told to consent to the crime, in which case she decided to do this big uh, fuhu giggly, where she flies and lets herself be seen by eyewitnesses, which is confusing if she's already been arrested this time. The scene and I was not present at the time. Oh boy. She sent a letter stating the nature of the charges and demanding I consent to the arrest. Later, by my suggestion, we created witnesses through that trick. I wanted to help bring the trial. I don't know. I don't know! I think I understand what she meant by insurance. If we break apart her testimony, it will give us no trial or fair. If we don't, then she'll be declared guilty if she wanted it all this time. Yes, so we must find a way to make the most of this testimony. Have you figured it out yet? Maybe let's try presenting evidence that seems related. Even if we can't directly address the issue, something that the scene across the past way. Evidence that seems related. Something's the same as the other, so we need evidence that explains her resigned behavior. We need evidence that explains why she would be so willing to cooperate, I guess. Tina and I was not present at the time. She had fled and demanded I consent to my the arrest. So maybe it has something to do here. I want to help bring the trial to the swift end by strengthening the credibility of my guilt. But there's no evidence. I don't know. No, that's not it. I'm on the wrong train of thought there. They don't really have any evidence on her, so why would why why would she do this? Why would she do this? So it's a jade I know be seen. So the conscious don't do not mean to treat medicine. So I'm not being spotted in the blocks. Tori has arrested more shrines and not tend to use present at the time. And she's not going to scout the mansion. This thing again. This doesn't help. It just needs to be related. It doesn't need to contradict. So. Let's try some eye statement again, I guess. I don't know. I, uh. I really don't know. <sighs> I wanted to help bring the trial to a swift end by strengthening the credibility of my guilt. But why? Let me try this. And then I'll reload. Oh. 
I don't know. I don't know. Tenchi wasn't at Chididen, and Momiji confirmed that because she couldn't detect her scent. Tenchi was also not present at the at the the crime scene, but Momiji Momiji detected that with her nose. So we have some information on that. But I don't know what I'm using here in this case to move this forward. But I just don't know. Seen and I was not present at the time. That's true. So why I need evidence to go along with her resigned behavior, that kind of thing. So why would she? Do I have evidence that would show why she would go along with her, the nature of it? She had sent a letter stating the nature of the charges and demanded I consent to the arrest. Later, by my session, we created witnesses through that trick. I don't understand, though. I don't understand. Story not being spotted. Simple luck. That doesn't matter anymore. For the rest of the evening, just nine out of ten at time. I don't know. I legit don't know. I can't. I can't think of anything that would work either. I'm stuck. Nah, that wouldn't make any sense. I don't think it relates to the. I don't think it relates to the magical circle thingy. One of the things trials would end by strengthening the credibility of my guilt. trail here. Are ya? I, I don't know what I'm on at all, honestly. I, I, I don't know. I have absolutely no idea what I wanted, they want me to do here. I'm genuinely confused. Evidence that goes along with the resigned behavior. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. That doesn't help. That doesn't help. I don't think this helps. I don't think this is going to be helpful right now. It's only be used once. That doesn't matter here either. So, <laughs> I got nothing, chat. I got absolutely nothing, and we're not we're not making any progress right now at all. Hmm. <clears throat> presented at this point. I don't know. Can you present profiles? You sure can. There's no way that's gonna be, right? There's, there's no way. There's no fucking way, right? Like, no way. <laughs> Turn to a cat, impressive, don't you think? Turn to a crow, remarkable, don't you think? I do, very much.
Okay, good. I would rather that not be the answer. They had a profile, uh, profile presenting as evidence and from the second game onward. They had a good tutorial case for it, actually. I don't know. Is there, is there anyone? Is there anyone who knows? Because I really don't. Thank you, Knight, for the 11 months. You uh, showed up at a roadblock. I don't know. I think the last time, the last time that Phoenix Wright like stumped me this badly was when I had to present the fucking fork in case four of Justice for All. I really don't know, chat, and I, I'm just going in circles, and I don't know what I need to present, and if I sit here and present everything, if I sit here and try to present everything on every single statement, I don't think I'm going to get any answers. It's not intention of being present. That's the thing, I don't... I, the, 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 there's three statements that state Tenchi's presence. There's Suika's statement, which states that she isn't a cheated in, which is going along with what she's saying. There's Sanai's statement, which says she was present at the shrine and arrested her there. And then there's the Remy statement, which says that she wasn't present at the crime scene. But the crime scene isn't relevant to the, the testimony at the moment. But I don't understand how the other two are relevant to the testimony. And I'm just, I'm like really, really stuck. I remember that specific case, Phoenix, right? Because it fucked me up really bad. <laughs> I couldn't. Re I, it took so long, I couldn't understand why the hell that was the answer to the problem I was stuck on. And now I remember it. I remember all the cases in Phoenix, right? I like Phoenix, right? Hmm. Phoenix, right? Justice for all case four is really good. I really like that case. That case alone, I think, probably carries uh, Phoenix, right? Two pretty hard. That and Pearl. Pearl showing up as a recurring character is good. Did I play Apollo? I played all of them except Ace Attorney Investigations 2 and Great Ace Attorney. Hmm. Uh, it's only a matter of just presenting evidence. It's a matter of presenting it in the right place as well. and I was not present at the time. Okay. It's fine. But she'd sent a letter stating the nature of the charges and demanding I consent to the arrest. Cross-examination 3? I think this is cross-examination 4. No, it's cross-examination 3. I'm so lost. I don't need to figure out what works here and, and how it works, because I really don't know. Just went up being spotted with a Scarlet Man, just simple luck. I don't think this one matters at all, honestly. But if she wasn't, well, actually, if she wasn't spotted, then how could she know about the arrest? Well, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. Press everything, present Remilia's statement, the second statement. Press everything, present Remy's statement at the second one. Okay. Um, I guess we're gonna see how that makes sense in a second, aren't we? Okay. So, press everything. So I'm thinking it's because she says Tenshi isn't present. Tenshi isn't present, so that means Tenshi should be present elsewhere. However, Remilia states that Tenshi isn't present at the crime seat at all. So how could Tenshi know that she did anything? Or how did Tenshi have the information that she, uh... How does Tenshi have any information on that? I guess I can see a link there. But now the part about having to press everything, then presenting evidence? Kind of a bitch. Testimony is the same as the other. We have to explain her resigned behavior. That's right. Okay, time to launch our counterattack. All right, so it's here. Christina and I was not present at the time. Now, Remy, well, where was she? Okay. 
I, I'm gonna need you to explain this one to me. Okay, come to think of it, there was another place where you weren't, Miss Hina and I. Okay, so... I, I guess... I guess I understand what the idea is here. So, here's, here's where I think the logic is going. So, the idea is, Tenchi is not present at the arrest. It means Tenchi has to be present somewhere, right? But how would Tenchi know that Satori is guilty if Tenchi herself wasn't present at the crime scene to do any investigation? So how did Tenchi get that information and relay it like that? Where was Tenchi during all of this if she wasn't at the crime scene or at the moment of the arrest? Hmm? I have here testimony from Miss Scarlet stating how she had to guarantee the preservation of the crime scene. Hmm, yes, she indeed said that she would be required to do so, as Miss Hina and I was not present. But what does that mean? Despite her absence, her scent still lingered in the air for some reason. Remember that? Remember when I mentioned before, chat, that if it's relevant to the present presenting process, it should be included in the text. Momiji smells. There should have been something on that file that said Momiji could smell her presence. Because that is important right now because that's what's being brought up. That is the first thing that's being brought up here. But you would disregard it. You tend to disregard statements that if you don't have direct evidence that correlate to the statements themselves. Hence, the whole point of a statement piece of evidence. Which is why I can't just use Koishi to explain anything here at all that kind of thing every every text has a reason to exist so I'm a bit annoyed by this that be too easy what look at the alternative not having the information and then expecting you to use that information for your case Omiji knows how tense she smells. She smells like peaches. Also, she's white wolf. I don't know. Don't ask me. She's a fucking wolf. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Despite her absence, her scent still lingered in the air for some reason. Huh? Scent? My Momiji is a white wolf tengu, and like all white wolf tengu, she has an incredibly acute sense of smell. And, the scene and I sent was detected in the library in a perfect spot for an ambush. Huh? What? So, so what are you saying? Well, allow me to recite our conversation from that time. Where do I know this scent from? What's up? Ah, yeah, I recognize the smell. You do? Yes. Who was it? Ah, it was Miss Hina and I's. Ugh, obviously. Huh? She was probably just here earlier collecting evidence. She's heading the detectives, remember? And this was before the trial on the first day. I see. But the most important part is, at that time, there wasn't even the faintest trace of Miss Satori's scent. Oh. Oh, I didn't even think of that, actually. She's right. Erk. When... What did you say? That could only mean that Miss Satori... Never set foot in the library at all. Whew, my word. That is all. However, that is only your personal experience. Do you have anything else to support? If there are any other minor concerns about what will come afterward, I imagine it would be good to ask for help from the Kappa. Afterwards? Yes, Your Honor. Because right now I'll present conclusive evidence. Oh, will I? I'm not ready for that. This information was not important enough to mention. That's basically the problem I'm having here, yes. Is the most vital part of this argument that Aya is making right now is not present on the evidence statement. What? Ugh. Here. What do you mean here? I don't know! What's the matter? Wasn't there something you wanted to show us? Ha 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 no. Bell, I guess. 
This is the decisive evidence. A reference book? Of what? Huh? What is this? Anyone could have perpetrated this crime with an item like this. Order in the court! Order! Did I get her? Hmm, still, this is just a reference. If the actual item does not exist, it just might. What? In fact, I once held it with my own two hands. What? I would like to submit it as evidence, but at some point it was stolen from me. This is a grave matter. We order the detective to retrieve it at once. I don't think that will be necessary. What do you mean? It was actually stolen just before the trial began. So I imagine the thief is still in possession of it. You have a guess as to who stole it? Of course, Your Honor. Then please share it with the court. My pleasure, for it will bring an end to this entire farce. Ooh. Victim, unmoving, uh, the unmoving great library is now just unmoving. Hold on, this is some gold in these texts. I as assistant, a lowly flunky in the Tengu clan, rumor says her name can also mean gallant. Leader of the STM task force carries out the independent investigation under Romilia's direction. Decline the prosecution, prosecutor's position for personal reasons, but investigating independently. Addressing her as your honor, or she might get upset. Energetic only helping Yugi in her efforts while drunk. Asked Aya to defend Satori's innocence while drunk. Came out of nowhere to take up the prosecutorial role when the SDM bowed out. Lacks reliability, judging from her usual behavior. Satori that closed her third eye isn't a Satori at all. Objection overruled, yet not even her mind reading powers keep her from becoming a suspect. Flutters on a breeze of a dream like a butterfly. Seemingly, seemingly use, useless feelings of love can open or close her eyes. Shrine Bane's essential to the Gensoka's existence or something. Being surrounded by overbearing people has influenced her to act the same. Owner of the Corindo, only willing to sell dubious goods, so won't let go of the item's actual value. It can be difficult to deal with. What about Sanai? Turn to a cat. Impressive, don't you think? Turn to a crow. Remarkable, don't you think? Wait. Sanai? There's no Sanai. Wow, really? Nothing on Sanai. Damn, that's brutal. Miss Heen and I. Well, what? As you recall, I once held the raccoon show in my hands. So what? Momiji! <laughs> yes, ma'am. Go sniff Miss Heen and I. What? Excuse me? You should find my scent on her. Huh? So that means... How about it, Miss Heen and I? No. You deny inspection? That is tantamount to admitting you stole it. <laughs> oh no, she's crying, but I don't feel bad this time. It was a long, hard battle. I don't pity you. Oh my goodness. Come on, stop crying. Now you're making me feel bad. <sighs> I can't stand it. Oh, she's still going. <laughs> Have we calmed down a little, Miss Heen and I? Yes, Your Honor. First, let us hear your motive. I wanted to kill some time and be the center of attention. Oh my god. I hate these people. So you committed this crime for pleasure. <sighs> well, if you had let me handle the prosecution's role from the very beginning, I never would have pulled something like this. What kind of excuse is that? Honestly. We have caused much trouble. Miss Satori, when I read Miss Hinanai's letter, I chose to allow myself to be arrested. The reason being, she had written that it was my younger sister who had stolen Miss Knowledge's consciousness. When I saw the scheduled trial date she had listed, I knew I had to make an immediate decision. Does that mean at that time? Yes, my third eye was still open. So the reason that Miss Heen and I didn't go was because I didn't want her to read my mind. That's why I told her to close her third eye when she gave herself up if she wanted to take the blame for her little sister. It's fascinating. You created this huge commotion with so little effort. But what I did was for Koishi's sake. How should I face her now? 
With a smile? I think that would be best. Gasp. Yes, you are right. Hmm, hearing the whole story, it seemed inevitable. Indeed. Then I shall hand down my final verdict. Kenji, I'm gonna smack you upside the head for shit like this. I really spent three days of my life with this. Unbelievable. I'm so happy for you, Miss Satori. It was truly all thanks to your efforts. I'm sorry for those heartless things I said. It's quite alright. I knew there had to be a logical explanation. <laughs> I'm glad everything turned out well. I'm in your debt too, Miss Inabashity. No, I didn't do anything, really. I'd say your nose did quite a bit. Definitely, you really helped us out. Aya. Koishi. Stupid. Yes, I was, wasn't I? I'll be waiting to cheat it in. Mr. Tori. What is it? I think I can answer your question from before. If Shimamoto were ever held on trial, what would you do? Huh? Why are you... If you've yet to consider such a possibility, I'd suggest that you do. You tell me Aya's gonna get arrested in the next game that I'm never gonna get to play? <gasps> ah, right. Yeah, from the very first day. So what is your answer? If... If Aya were ever held on trial... I know I'm not very good at defending, but I would still want to have faith in her. Hmm, a nice answer. Did the person in question here too? She's too tired. Huh? What's the matter? Aya? I said Aya! Alright, time to get out of here. Well, until next time, Mr. Tori. I guess next time will be a party at Cheated In. See you later tonight then. I'll be waiting. It's in the next game that doesn't exist. <laughs> ah, hoo -hoo. How you feeling, Patchouli? Allow me to demonstrate my gratitude. You were an ineffable help, thank you. Wow, I guess even you have a bashful moments. I hope you were not expecting me to demonstrate further gratitude for you in the future. You're adorable when you sulk too. Can I take a picture? Cease this, I beg of you. I do believe that this is the first time I thank you for your defensive efforts. I would also like to express my appreciation. Please think nothing of it. I had a bit of personal score to settle. You brought your own feelings into it? How unusual. That girl just ticks me off. Well, I can't say I don't sympathize. <laughs> and if she had succeeded, she never would have received her due punishment. Now, Miss Heen and I, the best course of action you can take at this time would be to accept condemna condemnation for your crimes. Enough of this foolishness. I'm leaving. Whoa, now, where do you think you're going, little lady? You didn't really think. You could get away from us. That easily, did ya? May we also partake in the festivities? My well, lady, I seem to be lacking in knives on my persona. <laughs> oh dear, how many do you have? Somewhere in the vicinity of a hundred? That is indeed lacking. Another power of ten would have been much more appropriate. A grievous oversight on my part. Well, goodbye, Tenshi. See you in the afterlife. <laughs> Smile for the camera. Oh my. Sounds like her voice is giving out. Couldn't have happened to be more deserving scoundrel. We certainly showed her. Thanks to that, I have the perfect shot for tomorrow's front page. I would spare her that much. You definitely didn't hold back yourself. I must say, this is quite a feast. Well, it's also in celebration of your recovery, Patchouli. What's the matter, Patch? You seem to be running a fever. Please refrain from bothering Lady Patchouli, so... Shimamaru, such words make her uncomfortable. Oh, excuse me. Well, I guess I'm going to walk around and talk to the others for a bit. Cheers! Cheers! How many times does that make? Eh, hey, what's the big deal? I can keep going as long as I want. Yeah, when you celebrate good times and make you want to celebrate more and what's good. Yep, that was English. When you get that incomprehensible, you should either stop drinking or stop talking. Hey, you're... Aya, right? Oh. Yeah, I remembered because you're a crow just like me. 
<laughs> well, it's a start. I'd like to think I have a better memory than you, though. Well, I think the Tengu of the hour. Haha, <laughs> thanks a lot. Seriously, you were so cool I couldn't even feel my tails. I'm glad to hear that. By the way, where's Satori? Hmm. Well, she opened her third eye again, so... Ah, uh, I see. Come in. Hello. Ah, welcome. You aren't going to join the party? You're a guest of honor, you know. But my third eye has been reopened. No, I won't close it again. Saw right through me. It's clear as glasses. My life is difficult. But when my eye was mostly closed, I gave it some thought. Hmm? I realized that life would be difficult to matter if my eye were opened or closed. True. But I am me. Keeping my eyes closed may have made life even more difficult. I believe Koichi chose her path unaware of the complications. You want me to join the party? Yes. But if I do, then I'll ruin everyone's... You won't ruin a thing. Huh? It's already in full swing. Do you think that anyone would care about something as silly as having their minds read at this point? Are you serious? Yes, in fact. Allow me to carry you down through the window. <laughs> How fun. Come on, let's go. I guess, on occasion, it might be a good idea to become so drunk that I can't read minds anymore. Well, isn't that a nice, wholesome solution to your problem? Judging by the case instigated by Tenshi Hina and I, it is evident that the trial system is yet in need of revision. Therefore, when you close into this trial, so does the trial system come to a temporary end. Conventions and resolutions must be prepared in the meantime. Some days afterwards, Eikishiki sent out a missive, prefaced with the above, throughout all again Sopo. The trial system had once again been put in indefinite hold. While there is no indications of when it will return at the present, this publication will continue to track any developing trends. Excerpt from the Boom Boom Maru, period, newspaper. Gensokyo Sky. <sighs> Aren't there any scoops around here? We had a lot of time on our hands lately. Well, I can't say I want to take out another trial, but at least give us something productive to do. Right. I play shogi with the Tori when I'm available, but we became so used to the hectic pace of the trials that the slow time feels excruciating. It really had all kinds of negative effects on us. Still haven't recovered from it. How am I supposed to enjoy my freedom like this? Good question. Hmm? What is it? Uh, Aya. What's the matter? Uh, please wait a moment. Aya! What? I see a cloud of dust about 100 miles away. So east southeast of here, roughly 8 feet high. Great job, Momiji. Thanks. Here we go. Scoop time, baby. Happy end. Good end. I can't read any of that, but I can at least enjoy the cute pictures. That was fun. Despite the fact that I got incredibly tripped up at the end there. To a point where I was just floundering. Kind of a flaccid way to end it considering how great I was doing before it. I was I was on fire. I was I was whipping out evidence all over the place. No penalties. And then I fucked up everything. <laughs> Absolutely everything. I think that's some kind of like story that's going on in that, but I can't read it. But Suika's saying something important. Look at Smolch, you know. Where are they now for each character? But why was... Why Suika? And then why Yiko? Yiko is guilty. She got punished. I think. I don't really know what she got. And she got fucking destroyed. <laughs> but, uh... That nobody else did. 
Oh yeah, her. Was was she even relevant to the that entire plotline? She just kind of showed up. I talked to her for two sentences, and then it didn't matter anymore. It just didn't didn't matter. I don't re I don't remember that expression for Renosuke. I, I can't I don't I can't read emoticons chat. What are they saying? What are they saying? She's got her ass beat. That's it. Yeah. Plain. That was that scroll was there for a second. Yeah, I can't read any of this at all. Kind of wish I could. But if I could, I wouldn't need to wait for an English translation coming. Never. <laughs> I haven't seen anything to indicate there's an extra case. I doubt there is. I think this is actually the end. All the characters have shown up. Her skirt is blue. That's strange. Huh. How weird. Three hundred fifty. Alice showed up. What was Alice? What case did Alice show up in? The first one? No. Yes? Wait a minute, what? Wasn't she in the last game? Not this one? Wow, look at all these. Chat, you wanna bet that 90% of these links don't work anymore? Oh, that's- that would be a feel bad. That was fun. That was fun. That was fun. That's it. That's everything. All four chapters completed. Oh. So that means this is the this is the current end of Aya, Ace Attorney, because the third game and the expansion games are not translated. Uh, I don't know if they're ever going to get translated. I hope someday they do, because I would like to play more of these, because they're great games, but there's a lot of text to have to go through, so it's kind of a bitch. Oh, it's a sad day. It's a sad day, but... That was a good last case, I think. Even if Tenshi is a giant bastard. You got what you deserve this time, Tenshi. I felt bad for your last game, but this time I just don't. But yeah, maybe someday, chat, we'll get the third game where they expand to the second game. I don't know. The game I, yeah, it's called uh, Double Focus, and it's only available in English on PlayStation 4, which I own, but I don't have that set up with a capture card or anything like that. And I was told that it might be coming to Steam, but I haven't seen anything on that yet at all. So I've been checking Steam every now and again to see if that pops up, because I really want to play that. It's a good game. But it seems like they have some kind of weird exclusivity deal with PlayStation 4 or Sony or something. that or They just don't want to do it, but it's translated. It's translated, so they could ease, and they did the same thing with Genso Wander. They can just put it on the on Steam for like fifteen, twenty bucks. But doesn't seem to be happening right now. One can hope. One can hope. So yeah, hopefully in the future the third game gets translated or something. Some kind of miracle performs itself, and we get to see more Aya in court. But until then, this is the end of that. And it was fun. It was very fun. It was great, for the most part. There were some issues here and there, but it did what it wanted to do, and it did it well. <laughs>